Hello guys, welcome back to my Resident Evil 8 Platinum walkthrough. We're doing knife only on this one, knife only, but we're also going to do no heals again. I did do it on the last one, and we're also going to try and do a speed run under three hours, so you should knock all them trophies out of the way. You should have already if you follow my other, my first playthrough, but just in case you haven't, I'm going to knock all them out again in this one. So it's mainly knife only guys, and we did get all the files and all the goats, in the previous playthrough but I'm gonna just show you where they all, all are again and all the outhouses and all the windows yeah just in case you did miss anything in the first playthrough I just want to show you all again now a few things we're gonna do just before we get started so if you come into your bonus menu um, extra content shop and yeah we're gonna get the concept art trophies now and the figurine trophies out of the way so come to your extra content shop by the way some of these infinite the, these special weapons to purchase, some of them are automatically available when you complete the game. And the infinite ammo, except for the GM79 which is ready by default because you can't upgrade that. You have to fully upgrade them weapons to make their purchase option become available for the infinite ammo. Which we did do at the end of the last part. So I've got 29, uh, 29 yeah, I've got quite a lot CP, 290,000 CP. You may not have a bit uh, much as much as that, but you should have over uh, 200,000. So we're just going to buy all the uh, figures first, guys, and all the concept art. Yeah, we want to buy all this. It's not expensive, and when you do buy it all, you do actually get a completed challenge. So you get some of this back. Yeah, so you're going to go down buying all this crap. Yeah, we're going to spend money on the, ha the hag. So no phone, it's taking me a while to get going. Um, but yeah, this is Platinum Walkthrough, remember. Right, no, we do not purchase that. Oh yeah, we are going to be purchasing mer Mercenaries. Right, so once you purchase all the figures and the concept art, all you got to do is highlight it all. You see it here, it's all sort of red. It's got to highlight it all, so it looks as though it's been viewed, basically. So game believes you viewed it. There we go, just go through it all. Just um, de-highlight it, I guess. 120, damn. It should give you a multi buy, and uh, almost there. Yeah, once you've gone through all of these, you'll pop a trophy, and there we go. Yeah, the art collector. Now we'll do the same with the figures, figurines. Um, yeah, so you do get a bit of CP back, not a lot, but um, and then the figures. So at least a lot quicker to go through. It's not too many, just keep scrolling down. Detailed view. And there we go. Thor's hammer, imagine if you could get that as a weapon. Oh, oh really? Oh, that's what it is. Oh, I thought it's going to be um, the mace that a Yoris welds. Oh, it's just a weapon. Um, firearm, even. Right, so we've done that, guys. See another challenge, Doll Collector. Right, before we get going, I. I hope you haven't spent any CP before me putting this video up. So I'm going to buy the infinite ammo for the grenade launcher where is it gm79 8000 cp that's going to cost and i'm also going to buy it for the m1851 wolfsbane now if you don't have enough you don't have to buy it for the wolfsbane by the way but like i say because i'm going to be getting the goats and that in the next in the knife only run i want to have a source of ammo but basically infinite ammo that i don't have to keep looking if you don't want to spend money on the wolfsbane because i won't be using the village of shadows this is mainly just so i don't have to look for handgun ammo you can just keep an eye out for bullets throughout the game, but we can't spend any money on knife only as well. Yeah, that's another one. We do no knife only, uh, speed with no heals, and we can't spend more than 9,999 lay. I've tried it spending 10,000, and it didn't pop. It's got to be 9,999. Okay, so I bought a GM79, and just before I buy the Wolfsbane, I'm just going to buy these things first. Karambit knife, that costs 10,000. Make sure you buy that, guys. Karen bit knife costs ten thousand. Dragoon, you can use that as Chris, but obviously he's going to be knife only as well. So that'd be in Village of Shadows. We'll look at that one. So Karen bit, and I say I'm going to buy the Wolfsbane as well. But after completing this run, you'll have a lot more CP. We need one hundred and twenty thousand CP to buy the stake infinite ammo later on, and we're also going to have to buy the Dragoon infinite ammo later on, guys, for fifty thousand. So later on, we're going to need one hundred and seventy thousand CP on top of. What I've just spent. So if you think you might not have enough, do not buy the Wolfsbane and just use a pistol with normal bullets. Right, guys, 
let's do this. And yeah, so first of all, we're just going to load up. Where are we? Yes. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to load up my last save at the end of the game. And we're going to buy the Karen bit from the shop. So it's in our inventory. Make sure we just bought it from the content shop there. Yeah, we're going to buy that from our inventory. So it's already in our inventory when we start the new game. Well, the completed save, but new game from that completed save. Yeah, I'll save you no matter what. Again. Yeah, so um, you've got a challenge menu now. And um, yeah, you can actually look at this and you can view things. But you can see how many, how much, where is it, where's the um, frugal, yeah, see, you have to spend less than, it's got to be 9999, knives out, tells you how many times you use your knife, so that's really helpful. When you go through knife only, guys, you can look at this from time to time, or if you think you may have hit something by accident, just check this, make sure it's still at zero. If you obviously have accidentally used it, just reload go. the save. Right, so, I've got the magnum. And the grenade launcher, infinite ammo. So it's going to be really quick to kill um, Miranda again. So, right, just going to sell things what I don't need now. Don't need that shotgun ammo, obviously, anymore. We're going to sell the shotgun now. Do not need it. Sniper rifle, nope. Get rid of them. Get rid of ER. Don't need them. Got infinite ammo. Flashbang, nope. <laughs> Magnum, nope. Get rid of the tack. And, yeah, got a bit more money from that, I guess. Right, and... What we want, guys, is a carambit knife. Carambit knife. Now, if you do, if you not, if you haven't purchased infant ammo for the wolf's bane, because we can't spend more than ten thousand on this knife's only run, you just want to buy a pistol now. Buy a pistol now because, like I say, you can't spend more than nine 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 on this next run. Through because we need to get a frugal father challenge a trophy. So if you need a pistol, buy it now guys, just so you can shoot things, you know, like explosive barrels and goats. And as, like in the castle, we have shoot them bells. So, carry bit knife. Yes. There we go. So, this is, this is my setup. Let's just have a quick move around. Yep. Let's move that over there. Right, got all my weapons nicely tucked in the bottom left corner. Right, so yeah, so I got my knife. This is a beast. By the way, yeah, if you hold block and swipe, you swipe quicker. Look, this is holding block and swipe. But if I spam the button, spam R2 normally, it's not as quick. But hold block, it's much quicker when you hold block. So that's how we're going to use it. Right, let's go and kill Miranda. Be really quick with infinite ammo. If you didn't buy the Wolf's Bane, just use a grenade launcher, guys. Explosive rounds. And when she goes into a dark phase, if you remember when we did this fight before, just use your flashbangs to knock her out of it. When she goes into a dark phase. And how long has how long have I been talking about this so far? We've not even started the run yet. Damn. I really need to get a move on with this. Not even started the run yet. Right, skip this cutscene. Well, I'm just going to use some Magnum, get rid of her quickly. Yeah, like I say, use her explosive rounds if not. Obviously, this will be quicker. Yeah, I'm just going to keep ripping her to bits. Obviously, you still might want to block when she's about to attack. Yeah, well, it's dark phase. Oh, I didn't have my flashbangs ready. When I'm at her. Ah, never mind. I did have a chance. Right, there she is. Right, back to um, Magnum. And after that dark phase, she always spawns that bloody big sun looking orb in the sky. The one you can't destroy. This is the only one you can't destroy. So just take a moment here to reload your weapons. Right, let's get our flashbang locked and loaded. Right, let's get back to her. Miranda, eat my magnum. We're about to attack them, but she missed. Oh, there we go. Already, already on the next, the last phase. You can, a lot of guides say, you can use your weapon, your firearm, on the first part of this, but the part after, that you have to use a knife, that's not actually true. Um, look, let's, let me just show you something, guys, because if I go into, um, where is it? 
gone past it. Uh, can't remember the name of the, the knife. Only oh, there we go. Knife's out. Uh, song three eight nine. Three eight nine. Now a lot of people say once you destroy that first orb, you have to switch to your knife. So I was on three eight nine, and I'm gonna use my weapon a bit more now. You can watch this. See, I'm using my weapon here. All right, <laughs> got attacked there. Yeah, so I've used my weapon quite a few times there. And if I go into um, knives out, still on three eight nine, guys. Still on three eight nine. And a lot of guides say you cannot use your weapon on the last part. I don't know why. Maybe they just didn't look at the actual counter. I don't know. Surely they did because it's so easy to look at. Or maybe it's changed on um, in a patch. I don't know. And there we go, guys. So we've completed the game one more time. We're just going to make one more complete to save. And now we've got Karen Bit Knife. So now we can finally start Knife's Out. Second playthrough. Half this video is going to be me just talking about it at the start and uh, messing about in the main menu. 2.44. Yeah, a bit quicker than last time, I guess. Yeah, so make another completed data. Yeah, finished. Need a bit of caffeine. Right, so load game. And where is it? So make sure it's that completed data. And that was this one here. Uh, yeah. Casual. Of course. So here we go, guys. Knife only. Yes, you have to go through a prologue again. I'm going to try and show you all the files. All the files. And what, what I'm going to do, actually, at the start of the video, I'm going to just put a, like a, um, a note on the screen. Just say, if you want to skip straight to the playthrough, get rid of all this nonsense at the start of my preparation, uh, skip to um, the 45-minute mark. No, it wasn't that bad into it. Right, so I'm um, going to come up here as Rose. Yeah, I'll be getting all files here, guys, and all goats, and all outhouses, and all windows. The question is, can I remember where they are without it's like I looking at my notes? Um, we'll be getting a lot of treasures as well, and I think I'm going to try and do map and matician. So if we didn't do map and matician, we're going to do that now. Almost yes, there, huh? we'll still do a speed run, but it can, doing all that can be a bit tight, guys. It can be a bit tight. Um, so we're going to put Rose down. But Village, Village of Shadows will be a lot quicker anyway. Village of Shadows run. If you don't get speed run now or in the last run, we'll do it in Village of Shadows. So I'm not going to do the missing trophies like um, kicking that. Excuse me, kicking that ball into there. Um, so over here, guys, is file, laptop. I've got all these, by the way. File here. This is just for you guys that have missed a file. So it's two in there, and come in here to room at the back. This is good practice for me, you know, so I can remember where everything is anyway. In here, there's another file here. Yeah, because I still want to do like a personal best platinum, I, I think. Um, and no doubt in a few months time they'll bring out the Unlockables DLC, which unlocks everything from the start. So um, you can go straight into a knife only run, like really quick one. Right, do not go too far forward, just creep past this door and on the fridge. There's a baby's feed, yeah, there's a baby's feed, and then come over here. Yes, yeah, so if you go too far forward, it skips it, it triggers this cutscene. You can get that note right at the start before you put a baby down, um, if you don't want to risk triggering the cutscene. But that file, you can literally get it within a few minutes loading the game, so it's not, it's not a big problem. And the file also says save permanently into your, um, into your records, like in the challenge menu thingy. So, we're going to wake up as Ethan now. Yeah, you got to go through all this again, I'm afraid. All of this again. Wade through the snow. Right, skip. And there's a note down here. Yeah, mission objectives. He failed his mission. If he had a seatbelt on, he probably survived. It's his own fault. Seatbelts are there for a reason, my friend. I didn't have mine on either. I crashed. Oh, it's in the back. I say, um, suspect. I've been imprisoned wrongfully by Chris Redfield. Right, so just waiting for the snow. Yeah, every time we have to do this. We have to do it again on Village of Shadows. It's not a boring as part in the game. What do they have in... Um, in 7, we had that uh, bit of the start where you had to... You got there in the car, and then you had to make your way into the house. But that didn't that didn't really take that long, did it? It didn't really take that long. Um, this seems to drag on a bit more. Um, number 3, we had... What do we have in number three? There's always some sort of little prologue at the start of these games. 
Number three, we had um, you start on a flat. That was annoying in number three. Having to always go through a flat all the time. And um, number two, the remake, prologue, what's it? You started in the station, didn't you? And um, then you had to make your way in. But that didn't really take that long. Yeah, the remake one was probably, it's a, it's a nice amount of time. I think in this, in this number eight, it just drags on a bit too long, the prologue. I think the house would have been good enough. And then they just lobbed us straight into it. Well, I guess it'd be nice if you could run a bit faster here. Yeah, so um, all outhouses. I'll probably be doing a similar route to what I did on my 100% run. 100% run. Um, we won't be killing as many enemies just because we're knife only. It will take a bit longer. But most of them, especially some of the strong enemies that drop some good stuff, I try and kill them. The giants, we won't be killing them, so they just take too long. The giants, they just take far too long. It's not worth the reward and the time it takes when you try to do a speed run. But remember, no heals, guys. It's best to do no heals on your first run because, on casual, because you've got the free heals from the foods if you haven't bought them yet. But, yes, I have bought them already, so I don't get free heals. But you do get a few free heals as you go through the story. There should be certain parts in the story where you'll, your health will be healed. It's like three or four times it happens. And you do get four free heals anyway that you can use. So just remember that. You've got four free heals if you need to use them. Yeah, four guys. Right, so open wardrobe, come back. And then, right, it's about to get interesting in a second. The game is about to begin. Right, where am I? That's a wall. Yeah, back into this deserted house. I don't know where Ethan's, where is he even going? Why don't you just walk along the road, looking, you know, waiting for another person to pass by, get her attention? Right, I guess. What did all this? Right, we'll find out, mate. Right, so let's enter the village. It begins. Population of this village is four. Now it's a shame the um. The section with all the um, the residents didn't <laughs> rest of the resident evil. Yeah, the residents in the village it didn't go on a bit longer, or you didn't have like more interaction with them. So it seems to be over so quick. And yeah, so it, it begins finally. About fucking half hour, thirty minutes into the video. Uh, right. So flashbangs can be really good, actually, guys. On um, the shadow. So I'm just going to use that for flashbangs. Well, I'm not even going to use it. It's knife only. What am I talking about? Knife only. Yeah, so knife only, guys. The trophy for shooting four crow, uh, five crows. We'll do that on the village of shadows. Don't worry about that. So I'm going to try to show you all, all outhouses, guys, and all windows as well, all files, all goats. I'm going to show you where they were, if I remember. So you got outhouse number one here. Just open it. That's outhouse number one. Come in. Here. Make sure you got his current bit equipped, guys. Remember knife only. And remember, like I said, if you want to keep track to make sure you haven't uh, hit anything. Come to your challenge menu, knives out, you can see there how many times, used zero. And you can also check your time at the top, 6.14, you can also check your time. And one more thing, frugal father, so trying to do this without spending more than 10,000. I'm not, not going to mention all these things again guys, so please remember. Frugal father, finish all without spending more than 10,000 late. Now, like I say, it's, it must be 9999 or less, 10,000 will void the trophy. It's got to be under 10,000. It's a bit misleading there. It says no more than 10,000, but 10,000 will void the trophy. It's got to be below that, 9,999 or lower. Right, guys. So, yeah, keep an eye on them from time to time. And let's go. So, straight in there, open that, skip cutscene. Yeah, let's get a move on now. Skip this cutscene. You can just run straight past him. That's it, because when you get a bolt cutters, he's going to despawn. There you go. Yeah, I'm not going to be collecting much, by the way, except for like treasures, like I say. That should that should knock a bit of time off, I guess. Bolt cutters. Got that chain open. Yeah, so we're going to kill Yuri's, and he always spawns just after the ambush. He spawns within about two minutes afterwards, and the ambush lasts for four minutes. Right, so in here, straight up the steps to the window upstairs, and uh, go back down to the bottom window, and then that spawns the enemy to appear. 
There you go. If you don't do it that way, you have to wait for him to appear, and it can take about a minute. If you come down here, he appears quicker, just around the corner. There he is. So block. Knife. Yeah, this knife's really good, guys. It literally, your basic knife takes about 12 slashes to kill a uh, normal enemy, but this knife kills him about two or three. It deals like four times as much damage, almost. And remember, hold block and swipe, because you swipe quicker. And when you come to an enemy, always block, let them attack first, and then start swiping them. Because if you remember, like I mentioned in the first run we did, when an enemy attacks you on casual, they, when an enemy attacks you on casual, as long as the attack hits you, connects, sorry, I know some of you heard this, should not explain it again for any new watchers. Yeah, when an enemy attacks you on casual, afterwards they go into like an attack cooldown for about five to 10 seconds, where they will not attack you for about another five to 10 seconds. So you, they attack you, you block it, the attack must connect. If it misses you, they attack again, like literally almost straight after. So you let them connect, and then it gives you like a sort of seven second window to just attack them without worry of being attacked. So fairly straightforward guys, but casual, it's quite easy. Just when it's a new enemy, always block their attacks and you've got like a seven window to attack them, then you block again and they just repeat. Right, so get these guys' attention. Remember, knife only. If you enter a house, enter a house first and that should start a cutscene. You'll hear the roar. There we go, it begins. It begins. I'll be getting treasured by the way, like I say. So you've got to wait about two minutes for your ears to appear. Yeah, so hold block and swipe. You swipe quicker. But while we're waiting, we'll just kill some lichens. Yeah, always let them attack first, guys, if it's a new enemy coming to you. Right, so um, I did want to start my uh, timer actually. So what are we on? 8 minutes 01. I guess we've got a timer there. So we're approximately. Oh, oh shit, should have got first. Yeah, about approximately, I guess, almost 10 minutes, he should appear. Yeah, see, he missed this attack. That's why he attacked a bit quicker afterwards. But yeah, always let him attack first. And then you've got about 7 seconds to just rip them to bits. Right, looting them. And don't drop much on casual, unfortunately. Right, your ears, he's going to come through here. Well, we're on 8 minutes 33. He's going to come through here, your ears will. So he's going to be here There's ready, no and once he appears, he's going to crouch and just rip his leg to bits with a knife, just shred his leg. Right, this one is a new one, so I want to let him attack first. I don't want to attack again so quick. Did he miss? Did he actually miss? Well, I actually did miss him with my knife anyway. Yeah, most of the time, most of the time, I wouldn't say it's always guaranteed, but 90% of the time, if they attack you, and it connects, they won't attack you in for another 10 seconds. Yeah, so this is me holding block much quicker. Yeah, when you do knife only new game, which I have done by the way, it takes ages to kill all the enemies. Ages. So long. But what are we on? 9 minutes 22, so it should be popping up in a minute. And you'll normally just see him will spawn in behind there. Alright, just get rid of these guys. You can still get attacked by a Lycan spy away when you try and kill Urias, so just be careful. Just there he is, just try and, if you see him about to attack, try and block it. Just keep, that's it, keep slashing his leg. Yeah, if he's attacking, try and block it. It'll be the same once he's attacked you once and connect. He won't attack you for like another 7 seconds or so. Yeah, he does sometimes do like a 3 hit combo like that. There you go, so he just attacked, I've got a good window to attack him now before he's going to attack again. As he keeps slashing at him, eventually you should knock him, sort of stagger him. He's going to attack, he's doing a three hit combo. Right, let's go to town on him again. Yeah, like and got me, son of a gun. Yeah, you got to watch out for these lichens as well. But the Urias will kill some of them. Right, come on, Urias. Let's get rid of these lichens. Gonna 
attack. I did actually do this a lot quicker before. There we go, got him, Timber. It'll drop 35,000. There we go. And now you've got to get rid of these. Just got to wait it out now, guys, for it to end. Yeah, so... Oh, I only just got it in time. I only just got it in time. Um, by the way, if you don't kill Urius before this cutscene, if you don't kill him before this cutscene, just quickly close the game and reload, and it should start it all again. If you go past this cutscene, it will auto-save, and then you can't restart that ambush sequence. You will not be able to restart it. But if you are having a lot of trouble killing him with your knife, if you're having a bit of trouble, guys, just use your weapon, your grenade launcher. That will kill him a lot quicker. And then once you've killed him, got a trophy, just restart back to checkpoint, and then you redo the ambush, ambush um, with knife only. Knife only. But on cash, you can just keep running around um, to avoid the enemies. But yeah, I got him. We got him. I did kill him a lot, early, a lot easier before. So up here. The old hag. Here. Right, it's so a file in this. There's a file in here, guys. You got a file here. There we go. Came through it there. I grabbed, don't really need it, but I grabbed it anyway. And there's actually treasure on here, which I didn't think I knew about, I think. Yeah, you see a ghost eye? There's a little treasure there. Crystal fragment. And yeah, so I shot my gun, and if you go into challenges, yeah, got a timber chief uh, challenge. Knives out. It didn't count. So right, there's normally there's a goat here, guys, and a file. There's a goat there and a file. Yeah, goats have disappeared because I've already got them. And there's a goat up there, normally on top of that house. Come through here. We want the maiden crest. There we go. Come out here, and we want that crystal fragment. I'm still trying to get treasures, by the way. Yeah, that's not a file. Just like a little map. Right, and um, there's a few enemies up here, but we're not going to kill them. I'm going to run past most of the enemies. Yeah, I come up here and then I jump over this fence. Just past that cart. Because if you don't jump over the fence, you pass too close to the enemies and they can grab you. Through here. Skip that out the window. Out here, over this wall, and there's an outhouse here, guys. Outhouse, outhouse number two, I guess that one is. We got that chem through it. Yeah, outhouse number two there. Open this door. There we go, and then after that scene, go into the house. Knock, knock. It's Johnny, I'm back. And there's a file here. Open that. Like what are we on? 13 minutes. I keep showing my time, you know, as you go through a game so you can see how well you're doing. But if I'm doing Mathematician and um, collecting everything, we, I'm probably going to do this at about 2.45 maybe. So that will sort of give you a sort of gauge on how much time you can spare, you know, if you are a bit behind. So through here, wait for this little scene. Doris, yes. And uh, run into him. That's it to start that scene quicker. After that, to come through here. There's a herb here if you want it. In that plant. Yeah, it took me ages to find that. This room was blue. I just couldn't find it. I was like, what am I looking for? It's because I've hid a herb in a plant. I mean, it makes sense. A herb, it should be in a plant pot. But it took me ages to find that. It's well camouflaged. So once you get a truck key, back to the van. Use the truck key. or back to the truck. Skip this. And then, yeah, as soon as you start that car, you can actually skip it. I've always skipped it. I've not even done that sequence. I don't know what you do. What does it let you drive ahead into the wall or something? Another cutscene skip. I really hope I don't miss any ghosts here. Or files. Right, another cutscene skip. And um, down here, we're going to get Demon Crest now. Demon Crest. Um, am I going to get a yeah, screwdriver? I was thinking, am I going to get a food? Um... I might tell you where the foods are. I'm not sure if I'm going to tell you about every single one. But, um, all the, and yeah, grab the demon crest, guys, and then come out the door. The thing is with the rare, the real rare foods, like quality meat and the juicy game and the finest fish, they, they sell for like 7,000 each. So they're good, um, they're good food to use to sell. You know, if you have got them all, 
you've done all the foods on last playthrough, they're good to sell for money. Um, so, yes, yeah, through here now, and we're going into the Castle Dimitrescu. Over here, use the Maiden Crest first, rotate it left. There we go, and then the Demon Crest. I am going to need my notepad because I don't remember a lot of the um, a lot of the codes for um, some of the uh, padlocks in the game. I don't remember all the codes. I still haven't memorised all the codes. By the way, for crows flashbangs are really good for killing them all, um, but I do that on Village Shadow just because they drop like five times as much money as well. It's probably almost ten times. It's it's between five and ten times that they drop. You know, it varies quite a lot. So in here, press switch, we've got this little escape sequence now. And um the man is of no real use to anyone else. Yeah, I just got that's all that's all I've got to keep track on. Um Oh no, bloody dog. Angie, get away. Right, so um gotta run. Run <laughs> your life. Run like your life to phone be temporary dependent on it. That's a word I was looking for. I was so scared I couldn't get my word out. In the mines. And um, yes, Urius is alive again. I think we just knocked him out before. You know, he didn't crystallize like they do when he's like proper killed him. They just get knocked out. You know, like when you kill a werewolf, it crystallizes. We all know that, surely. Or a vampire, they crystallize. We all know this. So if the enemy doesn't crystallize, they're not really dead. Oh shit. Alright, oh, it's like a, um, it's like a saw. It's like, it's like a movie of saw, isn't it? This is one of the um, Jigsaw's crazies ways of killing it. <laughs> well, I think we've got all five so far. I mean, I, it just it breaks my rhythm when I have to keep looking down at notes. I just want to memorise it all so I can just straight through it. Boom, done this. Boom, get this. Get this one next and to get this without having to look down. Oh, just much more better for me when I can move more fluidly. Looking down at my notes, it ruins my um, ruins my rhythm. Uh, so heading into Castle Dimitrescu, and yeah, there's another goat up here. Oh, I've actually missed a goat. Shit, no, it doesn't matter. We do go back down there. I've missed a goat in a uh, Potter's Field. Damn, gotta make shit. Gotta make sure I remember that. Yeah, I missed goat number three. But don't worry, we do go back there anyway. We have, if you follow my other guide, you've got all the goats anyway. But yeah, I did miss a goat, but don't worry, we do go back there to kill the alpha. Gotta make sure I remember. Should probably, write, I'll write that down when I get a minute actually. So um, there's a goat over here, guys. There's normally a goat just here somewhere. There's a goat just there. That's normally goat, yeah, I say goat number four, but I did miss goat number three. And um, up here now, the Duke will have a new recipe for sale. He'll have the Magnum. Yeah, you have a Magnum recipe, and then um, once you get a um, a rifle from him, assault rifle. Welcome, Ethan. But what I we'll do, we'll purchase them. Um, yeah, so it's ten thousand. So we're not going to purchase it. Find some quality right, let's just get rid of all this crap. Uh, it's not really much. Yeah, right. So, do not buy anything, guys. Do not buy anything. We need to spend less than nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. Right. So when we come in, it's going to be a file. Just gotta make sure I get the treasures as well. Remember where the treasures are. Remember, do not shoot an enemy. Uh, file here. There we go, out this door. And um, I've got a minute now. Uh, we'll have a second in a second. We'll have a second. And I can write something down quickly in a second. Right, so interact with that, and that will start the next scene. And you heal, your health would have been healed now, guys, by the way. So any damage you took in the ambush, you'll get it back. Right, I need a pen quick. Yeah, look at your hand, press X, that's it, that's our little sequence. Can't find a pen, where's all my pens gone? Ah, there we go, got it. Right, so, um, I didn't get goat number three, gotta make a note. Gotta make sure I see this. Goat three. Potter's Field. Right. I've made a note of it, guys. Hope I don't forget to get that goat. Alright. So, after that, come over here. Grab the Crimson Glass. That's the treasure we're going to sell. Out here. Back to the knife. Out here. 
and like this. Remember, guys, knife only, you can shoot goats and that still, it will not void the trophy. And animals, you can still shoot animals that doesn't void the trophy. It is a real weird one. It's weird that they let us do that because all the other Resident Evil games, you can't use it at all. Over here, you got the maroon eye, and then examine it straight after to get the maroon eye from it. There we go. And then head through here. Yeah, um, except for um, Revelations 2, they had something similar in Revelations 2 where a lot of people said he couldn't use the knife at all during um, the first part. Oh, it's crystal fragment in here. Grab it. Yeah, a lot of people said he couldn't use it at all. So that's one, that's the first episode you have to use the knife. But I did a lot of um, messing about with that actually. I'll make sure you unlock this door. There you go. And you can actually use your weapon to shoot the key down to progress. You can. Um, but you can't. Yeah, you can actually use it to shoot the key down. It doesn't buy the trophy, believe it or not. Where's my grenade launch? Did I sell a grenade launcher? What an idiot. I didn't even realise, guys. Yep, alright. <laughs> buy that crystal fragment. Can't believe I shot a, I can't believe I sold a grenade launcher. In here, use a marine eye. Damn. That costs 100,000 to buy. Oh, right, I'm hoping you didn't sell that, guys. I can't. I saw that by accident. Didn't even realise. <laughs> Never mind. Right, so I'm um, through here afterwards. Let me string you up. I didn't even realise. Right, right, through here. It just... The thing is, it's, it's a, the grenade launch is expensive to buy, and I need it for this shadow, so it means I've got to buy it. Um, there's a file here. There we go. What are we on? 21 minutes. I'm quite behind, actually. Can't believe I missed. How did I sell the grenade launcher? How? It's because I'm not watching what I'm doing, so I'm talking to you guys too much. I'll blame you for it. Right, need a weapon. Let me just make sure I'm still on zero on knives out. Yep, still good. Right, it's a crystal fragment in here when you shoot down. There we go. And grab that. And. Yeah, this way you want your pistol as well. It's good for shooting this. There we go. It goes, when you shoot it with Magnum, it goes flying. It seems the stronger firepower, the further that goes. Right, so back to my knife so I don't accidentally shoot somebody. Through here, that's another file. There we go, another file there. Through here, that's another file on here. There we go. And you want this pipe bomb, by the way. Don't worry, when we have to use this, it won't void the trophy. Um, I would normally use my grenade launcher, because that doesn't void the trophy either. But I've accidentally sold it, so I'm a dick. So just straight through here. Nothing else to collect. Make sure you block when you run past these guys. Can't believe I sold the grenade launcher. Right, dick. It doesn't matter. We should have, I should have plenty of money. Right, so up here, yeah, we've got a little mini boss fight now, and we'll get the first window as well. So knock these barriers down, skip cutscene. Right, so you're going to block her first. There we go, right. Yeah, just hold block and then keep stamina R2. Yeah, look how quick she dies. Right, shoot the windows, that's window number one, guys. We'll get a crystal torso from her when she drops it. Yes, there we go. And also, where all the weapons were, there's money there now, actually. So get a Sangua, Virginia. Yeah, I'm going to get all weapons and attachments here. I didn't say that either, did I? Yeah, and there's actually a file here on the left. Yeah, file there. Come through here after. Yes, bag of money there. Look at that, 10,000 lei. And you can open this. Idiot. There we go. If you don't have a lock, pick this one over here. There's basically a treasure in there which we can sell. Yeah, so where that 10,000 lay was, there's normally a weapon attachment there for the Lemmy. Through here, there's a crystal fragment on the wall there, on the ceiling even. And there's a window there, and a window here, if you need to get them. Right, so what I normally do now, I normally head to the Duke and sell some it, but I don't need to bother with all that, because um, I'm just going to try and get through this quickly. But we come up here now into the wine room and there's a file here. There we go. And here place Sangre Virginia. Right, um 
through here and get a courtyard key, guys. Once we've done the bit where um, your arm gets cut, so, uh, cut off, I'll have to look, just have a look at my notes then and see where we are. So I'm going to do this bit now where we go to the Duke, because if not, I'm afraid I'm going to forget that file that's next to him. So in here, can't believe I saw my bloody grenade launcher, I'm such an idiot. <laughs> I'm going to have to buy that, guys, just so um, we're back Other on track. Free to Damn. Yeah, I can't. Be oh, no, I can't because... Um, I yeah, I can't. This is a because I can't price. spend more than 10,000. Well, it's a file here. And I'm going to make a save as well. Well, we're on 24 minutes. Ah, oh, last time we were at 27. So we, we are making a bit of time. So remember that there's a file there. Make sure you still haven't knifed anyone. Got them, win them windows, that's just, that's just in case you haven't got them so far. Right, so now I've got a courtyard key. We can open the courtyard. There we go. When we when we drop down into the cave in a minute, I know there's a goat down there actually. I think that's the first coat in a, a goat coat in a castle de Mitresque. So in here, there's a few more windows here. Two more windows, there we go, them two windows there. They don't look like breakable windows, but they are. So you've got that window, and that bunch of windows, just count, they count as one each. Up here, you've got a few windows here. There's a window. And um, there's a window. And there's another window, guys. In here afterwards, you've got a uh, statue puzzle. So this one, she needs to face the um, lady. Lady needs to face the maid, and the beggars need to farm the kawaii. There you go, and that should complete that puzzle, and it'll open up in a minute. Right, let's reload. Right, you can't come back down here afterwards, by the way. So um, I don't think you can. So you, whatever we're doing here, you need to make sure you do it now. Right, yes, yeah, it's normally a goat here. Yes, yeah, a goat here, guys, normally. Yeah, that's your goat. What the hell? So through here. And when you get here, block. That's it, that enemy will spawn and try and attack you. Through here. Past here. I've got the um, food, though, uh, by the way. It makes you run a bit faster. Block against that guy. Round back here. Yeah, I've got that food that makes you run a bit faster. So I guess that helps in your speed run because you're moving faster. Up here. Right, it's going to knife that bit. Right, and then up here, pull the lever, guys, and this will take you outside um, uh, Lady Dimitrescu's uh, balcony. Through here, there's 1,000 lay there beneath the table. I wasn't going to get this only one, but I was basically in the room there, may as well grab it. So over here, we've got three more windows here, actually. So three more windows, got a cutscene first. Uh, so window, window, and another window. Right, let's go in, in here. There's a file here. There we go, a file, and there's a Castle Dimitrescu key. Let's see how we are for uh, knives out, guys. Still on zero. Yeah, check this from time to time just to make sure you don't actually get to shoot somebody you haven't realised. So a little cutscene now. Right, so after that, uh, just make through here. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not collecting materials and all that. It's just, but I've got too much to keep track of. I'm just gonna focus on the main collectible guys. But if you want to eat along the way, just grab some up. If you pass some, it, just grab it. We do still need to craft magnum ammo and rifle ammo and rocket pistol ammo for a trophy later. So do make sure you keep some mater uh, crafting materials just for later. Um, but I've still got loads of crafting materials left, I believe. Yeah, so you, you pull that lever down. Yeah, I've still got loads of crafting materials left, I'm fine. Yeah, and um, yeah, while she's breaking that, I normally go and pull the lever down. There's a challenge, not a trophy, but it's a challenge for not crafting anything in a playthrough. And if you can manage that, you get quite a lot of um, uh, CP for that, to challenge points. So it's not required for trophy guys, but it's just if you want sort of some CP. Now normally if she's not near you when you come through that entrance, she normally bursts through this gate here on the left there. Um, but through here, and we've got a first mask, and we've got about 
you got a free. What am I doing? You, I'm going to sell some again. I'm going to discard some up by accident. Something. Uh, so through here. Mask of Sorrow. There we go. This is a automatic heal as well. It's going to heal you up to green now. Um, right. Let me just see um, where we are. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm on track for the goats, apart from that one that I missed. Yeah, I'm on track for them. I'm not sure about everything else. I've no idea what number five we're on. But I know we're on, on track for the goats. So, my hand! I'm complete! <laughs> it's mine. Screw this castle. Screw this castle. Yeah, taking my hand. Right, so through here next. Right, uh, Demetrius Key. Just block for a minute in case you get attacked. No, I wasn't. So some more windows here. You can use your knife, by the way, on these. So more windows. There we go. And up here, there's a file. There we go, a file. And it's a crystal fragment here on the ceiling. Uh, there we go. Two more windows. There we go, crystal fragment. There's a file here. Make sure you examine it properly like that. This just in case you can leave these files, guys. We already got them and the goats. There's a window down there. Be careful. There is an enemy down there, and he may wander into your bullet. I just want to make sure it didn't, it didn't actually didn't catch him somehow. You never know, do you? You never know with these games. Right. So we've done that through here now, and we're going to get the um, iron iron insignia key. But there's a file here, and there it is. I forgot this last time. I had to get it afterwards. If you remember. So there we go, another file. Uh, piano time. Time to get out of my piano strokes. Wow, first time. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, uh, no. So close. <laughs> so close to 100% um, flawless piano playing. So close. I missed up one stroke there. Maybe next time. Right, get the iron insignia key. That key is a fucking huge key, that is. It's two-handed. That's a two-handed uh, turn, that one. Right, so, um, oh, hello. Goodbye. She's going to appear. Here. Oh, here comes the big lady. The big tall one. Right. Okay, she's got stuck. I'm here. Right, so I just bait her around that um, little pillar there. And unlock this door. The insignia key. There's going to be a mini-boss. Mini-boss in here. Remember, you have to... Let light come into the room first. What's she laughing so at? You finally came <laughs> She'll laugh at my mouth. Right. Oh, so, mean. so you may just want to let her attack you first. Oh, I staggered her. Oh, oh, so easy. <laughs> She's already dead. I can't believe how quick they die. It takes ages with a basic knife to kill this. That necklace, yes, we can get that. That's the necklace we get later, if you remember. Right, crystal torso. And through here next. There's a window there. Boom. Well, what, what's going on? What am I doing? Get this mask, the mask of joy. That's my favourite mask. Right through here. Right, here we go. Shoot that bell. There's a bell in there. Did I miss? Yes. Oh my gosh. Try that again. Oh, I'm way off. Got it that time. Yeah, get that bell. There's one up there. Get that bell end. There's one on the chandelier. That's the only thing, this magnum. It takes a long time to reload. There we go. And you got a bell out there. There we go. And that's the last window. If you haven't got the all the windows yet, that's the last window, guys. And that should have popped the hooligan trophy if you haven't already. And you can actually check that and you can look for hooligan in your challenge menu and check how many you've smashed. Right, just make sure, yeah, it's still in zero, guys. Still in zero, knives out. What time are we on? 32 minutes, switch to my knife. Yeah, so we're still we're still going to all the weapon locations as well, and all the attachments. Um, because they have a lot of, there's a big bags of money where they are. There's big bags of money where they were basically spawned in a place. There's a goat here behind you. There's normally a goat here, guys up here and there's a file on this table there we go a file there 
up here, and this is where the uh, rifle use, uh, sniper usually is, but we've got a 10,000 lay instead, right out here. And if you remember, I sniper one of, the, one of them when they fly away and perch in that building to get the trophy for sniping an enemy. I normally do it there. Right, but we're just going to make our way around now, and there's a crystal fragment on a wall around here, which I'm going to shoot in a minute. These guys drop loads on Village Shadows, like almost 10,000. Right, so uh, if you're worried about shooting an enemy there, then just don't worry about this crystal fragment. It sells for like 2,000. So, yeah, I was lucky I didn't hit nobody, but it's a bit worried then that one of them was going to um, strafe to, into my bullet as I shot. But it didn't happen, thank God. Right, so once you've got a crystal fragment, if you were getting it, onto the zip line. There we go. I don't know who put a zip line there. Right, Mask of Rage. I might put that one on later. Right, I'll kick this ladder down and then drop down the side of it. Get down quicker. And then we'll go down the elevator. Right, let's go. Um, ground floor, please. That's not really much choice. I can go up or down. I think I'll go down. Right, so there's a crystal fragment on the wall there somewhere. We'll pass it, there it is. And uh, no. I, I keep trying to shoot it through the door, but it don't seem to be letting me. Where is it? Where's that crystal fragment? Oh no, I, oh, I did shoot it down. It didn't sound like it did, I didn't hear the ting. Right, I just want to make sure I'm not on, um, I'm still on zero. There we go, still on zero. Right, oh, here she is, yes, turn right. This is why we unlocked that door earlier, if you remember. Right, uh, up here, guys. And, um, we're going to do the last little mini boss. I think we've done everything here that I wanted to do. I think we've got all the files and all the goats. Done all the windows. So open this with a Castle Dimitrescu key. Yeah, I think we've done it all. And there's a crystal fragment on the ceiling, guys, in the middle there. There we go. And you've got a treasure in here. Silver ring. Grab that crystal fragment and grab the ring, the Mask of Pleasure. That's it. Come up here. And you need to lob a pipe on me. Do not worry, this pipe doesn't count. Uh, basically, I don't think you can actually damage the the daughters unless there's like light coming in. I don't think you damage them. That's why this doesn't void the knives out trophy. And I've also done grenade launcher here. That's not voided it as well. So I just think basically you can't damage them until light comes in. So you lob a pipe bomb here. Switch to your knife. And you want to double check after you've thrown it. Just go into challenges. Knives out. Just make sure it's still in zero. Better safe than sorry, right? Right, so I'm just going to take a hit from her first. Right. So I've just got about seven seconds to destroy here now. That's it. So easy, guys, this knife. I can't believe how easy it is. So we'll grab the animal school afterwards. We're going to need it. And um, we've got to examine it as well. I still can't believe I saw that grenade launcher. I didn't even realise. That's the thing. I didn't even realise. Wait. You stone. Stone bitch. Right, I've got a crystal torso, guys. So um, through here now from a stone bitch. Right over here, and we're going to lob the crystal, um, the animal school down. Okay. There we go. Should okay, be should be able to get out now. Right, when we get through here, Lady Dimitrescu is going to appear. So, um, yeah. Trying to rhyme a bit there. Yeah, so just let her walk forward. Don't get too close, she will hear you. She'll smell you. Right, then once you get here, you've got a big enough window. You can get past her. That's it. And when we get down here, we've got to slot in all the masks now. It's going to be S S P J R, S P J R. that order, from left to right. So we've got Sorrow, Mask of Sorrow, um, Mask of Pleasure, Mask of Joy, um, Mask of Rage. Remember, S P J R. Mask of Rage, right. She's going to be making her way down for you. The door does take a moment to open. So I'm just going to come here. And I'm going to save my game. Right, I'm just going to keep saving this on the same side. Don't overwrite your complete saves, by the way. We are 36 minutes, if anyone's interested. There she is, 36 minutes. Door's just open. It takes so long to open that door. 
Right, we've got the boss now, and we've got a killer with just a knife. Yeah, just a knife, guys. I'm still on zero. Yes. Yeah, just a knife. We've got a killer. But, yeah, just hold block and keep swiping. You swipe so fast. And I didn't actually work that out until the end of my last knife run. I'd always been pressing R2, then block in between, R2, block in between, you know, to um, cancel the animation. But you just hold block and swipe, it's so much quicker. Like I'll grab the knife, come up here, inside. this will damage you. There you go, so just block when you go past, obviously you can't shoot her. So it's block, come around here. And once the boss spawns, come around here first, anti-clockwise. If you remember from before, we have to let it destroy these two towers first. A psychic damage cap, I think you can only deal so much, more, so much damage until she knocks these down. And once she knocks them down, I think she, her health may automatically go back to 7,000 or something. I, I don't know. I did really do a few things on this, but um, because the game is fresh and people were still finding out a few things, and things are still being tested. But yeah, once you knock them down, that's it. Just go to, go to town on her. Just keep spamming the head. Obviously, if he goes up on the back feet, go up on the back feet or move back. Just make sure you block. There you go, block now. Yeah, if that happens, just block. There are a few other attacks where you sort of, it's a bit quicker. But yeah, that wall normally indicates an attack's coming. So remember, hold him block and just keep spamming. Attack the fleshy part. Obviously, you can't reach a weak point, the weak point on the top of the knife. So I just keep attacking the attacking the mouth. There we go. There we go. Once she flies away, obviously we can't shoot her down. So when the flies come, just hide in here. You hide in here, she'll spawn the flies. Yeah, flies will pop up in a minute. Where are they? Where's she gone? There they come. Yeah, so when the flies come, guys, just hide in these towers. Uh, I don't know why. <laughs> They can't get in here, I don't know. The opening's not big enough. Oh, I have no idea why I can't get through this. Maybe they don't like the dark, I don't know. They need sunlight to survive. I don't know why they can't get through that. Right, where is she? Should we drop down after we just go to town on her again? Have I not drought? Oh, yeah. It'd be good if you could reach the weak point, but you can't. Right, just rip the mouth to bits now. There we go, just be ready for attacks. There we go, she's screaming, she's gonna attack. Like I say, it's one or two attacks where she doesn't scream. She sort of, I think it's one where she charges forward. There we go. Okay, is that it? Is that gonna trigger the next phase? She'll talk about her daughter and about one more blood. If she mentions the blood. Yes, there we go, next phase. So it's not too bad. You can imagine with the start, starting knife, it takes three or four times as long as that. Right, so we have a cutscene, afterwards straight up here, and then we'll wait for her to come down, and then we're going to knife her to bits. Still can't believe I sell a grenade launcher. Uh, <laughs> what, what a complete idiot I am. Yeah, do not say grenade launcher like this idiot here. Do not do that. Um, okay, so she's going to drop in, and it's going to rip her to bits again, slash her to mandibles. That's it, just keep knifing her. What is she going to attack now? Easy. Easy with that. I actually... Damn you, Winters. Crystal Dimitrescu. Yeah, I actually did two or three new game knife running runs before I even used a Karen bit knife. Yeah, so um, I, was, I was used to taking ages on these bosses. And when I did start using the carabin now, I just couldn't believe how much quicker it was. Uh, looks like I'm getting out of this place. Right, guys. There is a outhouse and a file in this building. This one right here. There is, but we'll be coming back down there later, guys. So um, don't worry about it. Yeah, uh, knife out. is still on zero. Yes, keep an eye on that, guys. And you want to probably make more manual saves than what I'm doing. So if you do mess up with that. You can restore a save earlier, easier. Right, so um, to get rid of these guys, this is where I need my grenade launcher, so much quicker. And it doesn't void the trophy, so there's three fish here. I don't need these, but I'm just showing you. 
Um, yeah, so if you need the food, guys, there's three fish there. I try and show you where. Am I going the right way? Yes, I try and show you where all the food is, I think. Yeah, I think I'll show you where, where it all is. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to collect it all, but I will tell you where it all is. Right, so um, we'll get the key. Yes, we'll get a key. But no fighting. The winged key. You unlock this door. So I'm not going to get a go just now. If you remember in the. Um, yeah, what we'll do. Yeah, just tell them it's your go now, yeah? What, what we will do is. Um, if you remember on the first one, I. I did actually, because basically there's a low, because you've got the keys as well, you can actually, and there's actually a lot of animals that have spawned now in the world, in the village, and um, because I did want to get a food on the first playthrough, and um, unlock, you know, the increased um, guarding, increased, well, reduce the amount of damage you take from guarding. Yeah, I just wanted to, um, you know, get that ability to reduce damage taken from guarding quicker, I guess. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna wait until we come back from the stronghold when we kill the alpha, and then I'm gonna do all that stuff are. in past field then. So here he is, man himself, <laughs> as I live and breathe, the Duke appears. Right, winged key. I'm afraid, I'm afraid of opening the shop now in case, in case I sell something by accident. Ah, I'm afraid. I'm afraid to open his services. Right, so through here. Right, so we're just going to crack straight on. Now, any goats we're going to pass. I'm just trying to think. I don't want to miss anything. Treasure and stuff. Um, well, there's going to be an outhouse in a minute. So through here, there's a file here, guys. File there. I'm remembering quite a lot, though. I'm surprised. There's a wooden goat. There's a treasure there. Unlock this door. There's an outhouse here. There you go. Another outhouse, guys. And once you have that, we're going to remove this. We'll move this across. Uh, this guy here, we're going to kill him because if not, he's going to chase you and it's a pain in the ass. So he's going to kill him quickly. And behind him is the outhouse, guys. So another outhouse here. There we go. I'm going to have to look at my notes in a minute because I can't remember the code for this um, padlock coming up. So around here, and there's another outhouse here. Another one here, by the way. There we go. That one's got a lot of trash in. Over here, yes, unlock that. Through here, there's gonna be a trapdoor, and now just gotta check what this um, code is. Oh, yeah, this is um, 070408. Yeah, 07. Yes, mate. 0408. Yeah, tell her not to. There we go. And Jack Handle in there, guys. And 15,000 yay. I know what he said. And once you've done that, guys, we can head outside. And quickly do this before that's it. Use the um, Jack Handle. You can quickly get underneath this tractor. And all the enemies will despawn. And by the way, in the house just to the left of us, if you run forward, turn left, there's a black pig in there that drops some meat if you want it, by the way. Yeah, it's a pig just to the left there, guys. I'm not going to get it. I'm going to come down here quickly. Now, I need to be quick here. Block when you come past these enemies. Yeah, we're going to get the well wheel. You don't really need the well wheel, but I'm just going to use it to get some treasures. Yeah, straight past this guy, unlock this door with the insignia key. And um, that's a well, the well wheel, there it is. Once well, you've got that, come around the back here. Now just guard, because there might be a lot of enemies here. Really, you want your weapon out, so you kick them all out of the way. Good. And then climb up the ladder, and then don't chase you up here. But um, obviously, be careful you don't shoot any. So over here, around here, there's some chickens here, if you want the meat from them, the poultry. And here you've got another outhouse, guys. There we go, another outhouse. A large crystal. Yes, I'll take that. Yeah, large crystal in there. Up this ladder. Yeah, I'm going to show you what all the food is, but I'm not going to create it myself. Similar to the goats, which I can't create. They're not, they've not appeared. 
down here and you've got a file on this table there we go and in here you've got a key there's an enemy to the right so just be careful there we go grab this key and yes combine it there we go yes enemy there so if it gets close you obviously just block and uh, knife him to death if you want to out here and now I've got a well wheel I'm just going to get some treasure so use it there and I'm going to head inside here and get the Vivianite and the teddy bear my teddy there we go I sleep better tonight now that teddy bear close to me right wooden animal head and you can combine that now guys um, where is it combine that that's it right let's head to Angie's let's go to Angie's place so now we've got a key you can head up now and yeah that bit the place around the church and that we're going to do that a bit later there's a file there and there's a goat that I missed did I learn anything yes I need to get this done quickly oh yeah you've put all treasures on your map and um, actually let me just you sell sell some things and make a save Welcome. right open the shop right let me just sell some things remember do not buy anything got to be really careful I do not sell <laughs> do not sell my weapons gonna sell the fish I don't need them oh, right that. yes we're good Beautiful right let's make a save yes mate Right, made a save, guys. What are we on? 47 minutes. I don't know if that's... I can't remember what time I saw us. Was, well, we were on about an hour last time I got here. I don't recall even. Do not recall. Yeah, so um, I'm getting mathematician because I still want to get all the, all the weapon locations because there's a lot of money in that place, like I was saying before. Um, we're not going to be coming back through this place later. You can, you can come back through here to get a treasure. But if you remember on my first playthrough, I didn't come back into this area we're in now just because it consumes too much a bit of time and um, there's normally a goat just on the middle of this bridge by the way that bridge there there's a goat and I'm just hoping so much I don't forget to mention anything to you guys for because if, it, if there is some of you watching that are missing a file and you do want me to show I'm just hoping I don't miss any um, but I know if I don't add them I know there's gonna be people in the comments some of you guys in the comments saying do you get all files in this? Do you smash all the windows in this? You know, so that's why I wanted to do it. Um, just so it's more accessible, I guess. So, just going to follow Mia. You have to fix her. Well, the, uh, my um, hallucination of her. She's not real. Ethan Rose. Don't, give it, don't follow don't Ethan. It's not real. It's all a mirage. Yeah, I'm going to find Angie. Yeah, in this um, grave site in the middle there where the dolls are. You can come later with a broken slab and get treasure. I think that treasure sells for 19,000, I think it is. Right, let's put a family photo through the letterbox and then I'm going to go inside and um, grab it. No, I'm going to put it through the letterbox and then go through the door. What's going on? Well, yeah, that's how you unlock the door to that house. Not very secure, is it? Just put a letter through the door and it unlocks. Right, up oh, the elevator. Yeah, so there's nothing to really collect in Angie's. No files. There's one more goat, but it's just outside. Just outside. Oh, it's getting pretty dark. Okay, yeah, so there's a goat up here, guys. And um, yeah, like I say, nothing to collect in Angie's place. Just a mutant baby. Fetus, whatever. I don't know whatever that thing is. So yeah, I'll show you where the goat is. Um, I still can't believe I sold the GM79. Cost 100,000 to buy that. You know, what an, what an idiot. The thing is, I need that village shadow, so I just hope I've got enough. Yeah, so there's normally a goat here, guys. Normally a goat there. Yeah, we got 1.1 million in our um, playthrough before. What am I doing? I think I'm skipping the cutscene there. And we should get roughly... I didn't tell you at the start of this video how much money we're going to get here. But because we're collecting all the treasures, we're going to get about... Uh, probably just over 1.1 mil again. 
similar to our first playthrough. And um, yeah, but I, I'll put it on the thumbnail anyway in the description. So that should tell you exactly how much we get. So um, I don't think I remember the um, combinations for the puzzles down here as well. Especially the um, the um, melody box thingy. Right, um, I'm just trying to find where I am in the, um, in my guide, in my notes even. Yeah, so we just got to get the winding key first from the uh, leg. Oh, I've got a moment now. Can I find it quickly? Oh, here we go. Got it. I found it. I'll make a much better daughter. Anybody think this is the scariest part of the game? Uh, so, round right the back Where's of the door. That's it. And uh, move your fingers all along. That's it. Stroke her shin. Uh, grab the winding key. Stupid place to hide a key. So, 0529. 052911. There we go, that's a code for that. 0529 and a 101. So now to the little um, melody box. I, I know this has got a name, I just can't remember the name for these. So round here and um, use a winding key. There we go, and it's going to be move one to two. Then move two to four, then move three to four, and then four to five, and then play. Yeah, that's it. So, obviously, you see the scratches on them. You just got to sort of try and line the scratches up. We just look a bit deceiving at first. It looks like some of the scratches go on the far right, but they don't. Um, but yeah, grab the tweezers afterwards. Yeah, so it's what one to two, um, two to four. Three to four and then four to five that and now we're gonna back and get the film from the wooden dummy's mouth. And for the film puzzle, yeah, so come around here, mouth, open the mouth first, and then use tweezers to pry it. Yeah, so for the film puzzle it's two uh, move two with five and then one with three. Yeah, that's film puzzle. Oh, where am I going? Um, I was just thinking, am I going to do labyrinths again? You know what? Uh, I may... Yeah, so in here. Examine the real... The, um, yeah, two to... Two to five, and then one to three, and then play movie. Yeah, I'm thinking of getting... Grabbing a few extra things, which I wouldn't normally get. Just try and make up for that money I'm going to spend buying the grenade launcher again. I know we don't do the last labyrinth. I might just do that anyway, because I think the last labyrinth gives you like 40,000. And I might do that anyway, just so you know, say to you guys, you don't have to do this, because the last labyrinth is annoying. Um, I might do that anyway. And I'm just thinking about anything else I can get, just to try and make it up. I don't think there is really. I mean, I'm, I'm going to be selling the um, Juicy Game, Finest Fish and that, and that will make a bit of money. Um, so through, we may actually get more in this run than what we did on our first run. So scissors, thank you doll. And cut through the bandages. And uh, yeah, just ignore the phone call. It's Burns. <laughs> it's Mr. Burns. What is that his name from um, uh, 2 Remake? Can't remember now. When uh, is it Claire answers the phone call. All right, so once got the scissors, yeah, forget, forget what I'm doing. Cut her, take her clothes off, just strip her down, and uh, yeah, take out her heart, the brass medallion, and now come this door and um, go down to the bottom of the well. Yeah, so place a brass medallion in there. Yeah, that's right, you guessed right, goes in that slot, and you want the flying crow that's facing right, and here you need the two 
the three blind eyes. That's it, that will unlock the door. Very peculiar lock, that door, Scott. Peculiar. So down the well. Yeah, go down this peculiar looking well. See what you can find down here. I'd at least, I'd at least drop the flare down there, so at least, just so I can see where I'm going. I guess he's got his nipple lights on. So break a box key. Yeah, Ethan has little nipple lights. Oh, the baby's groaning. It's been born, it's finally been born, the fucking mutant fetus. Like love child off, I don't know. That hunchback thingy and um, maybe <laughs> Lady D, some sort of love child. I don't know what this thing is. So through here, just get around the corner till you hear the baby. If you want to call it a baby. There we go. Once you hear the baby, turn around. Ew. It's a umbilical cord. Nice. That's a long umbilical cord. Right, so we need to head to the elevator now basically and use the breaker box key to find the relief of a child that's hidden in there right there it, there it is breaker box key there we go we got it what a relief we finally have it guys so back now, no wrong way, you can't go that way, the baby's going to ambush us, you've got to go back this way and follow the umbilical cord. That is so long. Imagine all the protein in that. Right, open this. You know, some people they like to um. They like to keep the umbilical cords, don't they? <laughs> Imagine keeping that, where do you put it? We use it for a, um, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what you'd use that for. I wouldn't keep it. Just take one look at that baby and you'd run a mile. Right, I've got a fuse. Um, we're gonna head back now, oh, there's the door. I thought it's more umbilical cords on the floor. Yeah, you can actually, you can extract, um, they're rich in some sort of, I can't, oh, almost ran into it. Almost fell in its mouth. Yeah, so um, the umbilical cords, there's something rich inside them, I can't remember what it is, some sort of um, building block of life. Yeah, I can't remember what it is now, but you can uh, donate it, can't you? But imagine it all in that one. It's probably just made of mould. Right, so it's waiting for the baby to come in. Playing hide and seek for a baby. Well, I've got to remember to get that goat. Go to number three, and um, back in Potts Field, and um, yeah. So after this, we're going to go to Moreau's morale section. Yeah, morale section is a bit annoying with knife only, but you can shoot the explosive barrels, so that's a relief. Right, let's get out quick. Through the kitchen, no chance, no time for cup of tea, guys. I'm sorry, gotta get out. Right, gotta take a long way round again. If you don't know where you're going, just follow the umbilical cord. There it is, just follow the umbilical cord if you get lost. It points the way. Is it? That's a knot in it there. Wow. We're here. Quick, lob a fuse in there. Caught up with me. Oh my gosh, you're ugly. Yes, quickly press that switch. It can kill you. Oh, I thought the door wasn't closing then. Sick. Do not want to look down his throat. Probably straight out, straight outside of his ass. I see a torch on the other side. Right, yeah, you can't go through this door. It's locked. 
I don't know if it ever opens. I, I'm sure I went through it one time. I'm sure it's opened one time. Um, so, we've got to find Angie now. And she always appears upstairs to begin. Always appears upstairs to begin with. So, yeah, we'll go upstairs first. She's always in this far bedroom. And after that, she... It's sort of a bit random afterwards, but it's only like two places I think she can um, move between. Right. Okay. Can I just take it back to the side of the I mean, I hope we got a receipt going to return that doll. Right, so she's normally in back in this middle room, um, but she'll either be on the on the left here, guys, down there, or she'll be round the back of this sort of cabinet. There she is. And now she's either going to be back near the elevator or round the back near that room we can't get into because the door is blocked. I'm hoping she's going to be round here, so I don't want to walk all the way back to the elevator. Yeah, and she may she either be around here or back near the elevator. So looks like she's here. No, uh, she's not. And I don't think we can get through this door. I don't think it's open. Oh, it is. There we go. Yeah, or she's here. Before, if you remember on the first playthrough, I took the long way around. So I, I didn't realise that door being opened again. I didn't actually try before. But yeah, she'll either be there or here. Right, you can skip this cutscene in a second. I'm oh, definitely going to return this. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, skip. Got the unborn key. There we go. Right, so um, grab Angie. Take it back to the shop. Take it back to the Duke. I want my refund, mate. Well, I'll swap that for the GM79. Right, so um, we, we're going to where you kill that big were the first big werewolf. We're going to go and kill it now. And, but we're going to kill him with a knife because he sells, he drops a crystal beast which sells for 20,000. So yeah, what time? We're on one hour, two minutes guys. I think I was on one hour, ten minutes at this point before. Oh, there we go. What I should have done in my notes, I should have wrote down sort of times when I hit that spot. You know, depending on what, um, what I was doing. But yeah, we're going to Morose area now. You need the you need a weapon for Morose part as well, Morose, because you need to You need to he's got instructions you have to shoot down to make a, a platform to get across the water. You have to shoot the weak points. You do need you do need a weapon for them, you know, a firearm of some sort. But I've got my magnum, let's just make sure it's still on zero. Yeah, frugal father on zero as well. Now remember, we're doing no heal and speed run to 100% basically. Right, so yeah, if you come back here, there'll be. You can lob that broken slab in there and get treasure, and a, a giant will spawn in as well once you do that. But I'm not going to be doing that. So here, I'm going to go to where the shotgun was because there'll be a bag of money. And we're also going to do the labyrinth in a second and get Luther's key. So I shoot that because it's got 2000 lanes, so I'm going to get its labyrinth ball. I think this is, is it Sun and Moon? Yes. Right. I'm not going to shoot with this. I've just got this equipped so I can knock enemies away. Right. There we go. 20,000 lay. Right. It's going to have this equipped so I can knock enemies away with it. Right. No, we're good. Okay. So um, let's go to well. There's another outhouse here as well. Damn. Almost forgot. Yeah. So well, um, there's an outhouse here at the back, guys. There we go, another outhouse. Photo, yeah, that just shows that strange bird, but we'll get that later. So the outhouse, and this well, Madalena's head. Through here, here's a labyrinth. Let's do that. Um, Sun and Moon Ball. This is a nice, easy one. I, there's the two middle labyrinths I like to do because they're nice and easy, and they're nice and quick. Not, they don't waste too much time. The first one just doesn't give you uh, a lot of money, so I don't bother. And the last one does give you a lot, but it's a pain in the ass. It is. But I might do it anyway, you know, just so I need to build up money that I'm going to be spending on the GM79. Oh, no. 
He says it was easy, but then he completely messed it up. Yeah, oh, I can't believe I sold a grenade launcher. Well, wow, wow, <laughs> wow. Wow, what's going on? Oh my god, <laughs> well, that's one way to do it fast. Okay, so this is the oinks. And down here, we're going to get a file. Where is it? There we go, guys, a file and Luther's key. There we go. I'll make, um, I'll make a safe as well. Luther's key. Yeah, so Luther's key in that file. Um, back through here now. Um, we're going to get a bit of treasure here. But it's going to be a bird cage when you shoot down. So we're going to have my magnum ready. Obviously, be careful you don't shoot any enemies by accident. Remember, I did mention this on our first come through here. But it's a goat on that bridge just across from us on the right there. Um, but you should have it. There's a goat there. Um, okay, so through here, I'm just going to take a left and I'm going to get this. Uh, is it a large crystal or crystal fragment? Yeah, large crystal. I'm going to grab that and I'm going to come back. Blocking. On here is a Vivianite on this tombstone. And I'm going to shoot down that birth cage. There we go. 3,000 lay inside. Let me make sure I'm still on knives. Zero. Yeah. Very important, guys. Just keep checking that. Keep checking it. I don't know why, but if you face, if you just, if you face this direction when you try and get past him, you can't get by. But if you sort of turn facing him as you're moving around that enemy, it just lets you get past him a bit easier. Right, so I'm just heading straight through here, guys, straight into Morose area. So I'm not messing about. Four winged on Born Key. Um, I've got, you know what? No, let's just go and do Luther's bit before I forget about this. It's only going to take a second. Yeah, if I don't do this now, I'm going to forget. So um, we're just going into Luther's house now, guys. I want to do it like I said. I'm going to forget. So through here, uh, break this lock and out this window. And um, yeah, there's, there's a file on the outside. Yeah, smash that lock. There we go. And you've got an outhouse here. Yeah, there we go. Outhouse. What's that lock pick thing? Yeah. In here, you got Madalena's head, which we take. Well, body, sorry, but we'll combine that with her head. Yeah, let's combine them. Yeah, sell for quite a bit. And out here, we've got another goat just on top of this. There's normally a goat here, guys, by the way. Just there, it's a goat. And um, grab this file inside the door. There, we, there. That's the one, a file inside the door. And we'll open this, loot this key. I think we need a code for this, actually. I think we need a code for this. Um, it's this birthday, basically. Uh, 2709.17. Yeah, so I'll come through here and shoot down that yellow quartz. They sell for 10,000, I think. What's it? 2709.17. Yeah, 2709.17. So I've got to write down somewhere, but 2709.17. No, wrong one. You'll get a bag of money in here, basically, and a treasure to sell. No, okay, I've got something wrong. 2709.17. Oh, idiot. I put 29. There we go. Can't believe I did that. There we go. Steel has a vlog. No idea how to pronounce that. No, it's not a file. It did make me think for a minute there, though. Right, doing everything here, guys. Need to see. Right, let's go and crack on and kill the big bad wolf. Yeah, so I'm just heading back through here now and then um, back to the graveyard. Pipe bomb there. Oh yeah, I could I could have done this when we come back through here later. Um, after doing a stronghold, guys, but um, I'm I'm a little bit worried about forgetting things. So yeah, I'm a little bit worried about forgetting things. But the more I play this, the more I'm remembering, you know, the more I'm getting used to remembering things. Right, so straight after this, behind you is a file. There we go, let's get that first. And then, just going to kill him now quickly. I'm going to hold block. That's it. And then just keep, hold block and then just keep swiping. And just remember, when he stands on his back legs, that's when he's going to attack. Obviously, hit his head if you want. Look how quick he dies, he's carrying bits. Crazy. Crystal Beast. Crazy how quick that kills him. Right, and let's get this uh, money in here where the grenade launcher normally is. 
Oh yeah, sorry, wrong key, what a dick. Yes, yeah, get this, um, look at that bag of money over there. 20,000 lay, thank you. Yeah, basically where every weapon or attachment was, there'd be a bag of money. I've said that a few times. The the biggest bag is at the ma uh, Magnum, as you can imagine. The 30,000 where the Magnum is, 30,000. Um, the attachments normally, the attachments normally only give you 10,000 each for the attachment locations, but all the weapons, as you go through a game, each, basically each stronger weapon or each one that's further into the game gives you a little bit more than the one before it. Yeah, we've got that file. There's two pigs down here. I'm going to leave them. There's two pigs there, guys. If you need a bit of meat. And through here, save point. No, don't need you. And there's a elevator. What time? We're on one hour, ten minutes. One hour, ten minutes. Right. Um, let me just see where I am. No, I think we're good. We're good so far. Doing good. We're going to... The place... After you drain the water, you can go to an area which is highly missable. But it's got a goat down there. And it's got some fish and a treasure. I'm going to go down there, like I say, because I'm doing map mathematician as well in this guide. And there's actually a crystal fragment down here. So I switch to Magnum, just come through here, turn around, and it should be, oh there it is, get a crystal fragment, there we go, and then come through here, we're going to get a flask, and uh, then we'll make our way to Moreau. There's some fish on the way, and a large crystal, which is highly missable as well. Yes, yeah, so you need to be really careful in this bit, guys. Basically, once you go back up the elevator, Damn you've missed, you can't come back down. After you've done this bit, you go back in the elevator, you can't come back down. So, um, yeah, you've got to be careful. You don't actually don't need to go up in the elevator. Yeah, I think it auto saves as well as soon as you go up the elevator. So, you may want to make a save down here. When we get to the next save point, I'll just um, let you know. You may want to make a save here. here. Right, go shoot that down. Yeah, that's where you need. You can you hit, hit that one for the knife, but there's a few later on which you need uh, a ranged weapon to attack it with. So in here you've got to get a boat key. Leave these. There we are, the boat key guys. Let's just make sure I'm still on zero. I'm gonna keep checking this. I'm I'm just worried. I'm worried. Because if I'm making a guide and I <laughs> I miss I mess up the whole point of making the guide and I don't actually pop the trophy then you can imagine, obviously. You guys will be a bit pissed. I will be pissed for not popping it, and it means I've got to do it again on this actual account. This account, by the way, it's just I've just made a random user to do this platinum for you guys, and um, I've not done it on my main account yet because I'm still deciding how to do it. And um, do I wait for the Unlockables DLC and do the platinum really fast, or do I wait to see if any DLC is released and then do 100% then? Because obviously the on PSN profiles, basically, when you, it will show you your fastest time to 100%. But the problem is, you may have the fastest platinum, for example, and it will say like two hours. But then when DLC gets released, new trophies, that time will change to like four months or whatever, depending when you last, you know, when you got a first trophy and the time difference. So, if you wanted to get, if you wanted to get a fast time, you really need to wait till all the DLC, all the trophies been released and do it all at once then. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do on my main account yet. They might not even release DLC for this. Um, we've got mercenaries, so yeah, I'm just going to appear, guys. This bit's highly missable, by the way. Yeah, we've got mercenaries, haven't we? And um, so yeah, I'm, I'm unsure if they're, I'm really unsure if they're going to uh, release DLC for this game. Right, a uh, large crystal there. There we go, some fish here, by the way, if you need them. Some fish, I'm going to leave them. Yeah, because um, on number seven, all we had, all we had was the main game, didn't we? Um, but here we've got the main game, and we've got mercenaries, and we're getting um, Resident Evil Verse, aren't we? So yeah, maybe we won't get DLC for this. I don't know. I I really don't know. Um, you just never know, because Capcom and they're normally pretty good with things. They do normally release a game, a full game. 
you know, I mean, you can never be sure if a, a developer makes extra stuff for the DLC or whether it cuts stuff from the main game to sell later to get more money. You can never tell how they've done it. But Capcom, they do seem like they do make extra stuff uh, after purely for the DLC that wasn't actually meant to be in the main game. Um, I don't know. I don't know what we'll see. But I'm sure they're going to release an unlockable DLC, which you can start the game and you've got every weapon unlocked, infinite ammo, everything. And that'll make planning a bit quicker. So save point here, guys. You may want to save. Just remember, remember, you do not overwrite your completed saves. Right, got another outhouse here. I hope I haven't missed any outhouses. I really do. So we've got another outhouse. There we go. Came through it in there. This one's highly missable. Um, over here, you've got a file. And I remember these files pretty well. you got that one there. There's some uh, hens here if you want a bit of meat. A bit, well, poultry even. And some crystal fragment in there, which I'm going to get. Yeah, so there's some uh, hens there, guys. Chickens. If you want a bit of uh, poultry. So next, I'm coming over. Oh, yeah, there's a goat here. Almost got about this one. There's a goat here normally. Yeah, normally a goat there, guys. Wow. <laughs> Almost forgot that. Yeah, so let's go there. Yeah, drop down there. It's normally a ladder they're supposed to climb down, but you can just drop down. Yeah, this is very good practice for me, just trying to um, remember everything. So over here. Yeah, I'll smash that. Yeah, so when he comes across, be careful. He can kill you if you're walking across these um, platforms in the water when he's trying to smash them like that. Like, wait, wait for him to pass, that's it, or he'll just eat you. That's it, and then when you get here, there's, you've got to shoot these, obviously be careful, you don't shoot the fish if he pops up behind him, because your magnum will go through things. There we go, that's all we need to shoot, and let me just check, slung knife, yeah, I'm just worried about, he, maybe he's under the water <laughs> somewhere, and uh, when I shoot something, the magnum goes through it, penetrates it, and goes to his body. There's um, a goat in a second, another goat we're going to grab. Yes, yeah, three goats down here on the row section. So over here, I'm going to press this and uh, oh, unlock that and uh, knock that lever down. Load of maggots. Looks like they're all stuck. Okay, and over there's a goat. There's a goat on there, one of them posts. Can't remember what one it is, guys. There's normally a goat on one of them posts. Right, so I uh, threw it along here next. Right, let's get my knife out. Knock these down quickly. Come around here, and then you want to press this one, guys, then this blue one, and then this orange one, and make your way across. When you're going across, press the orange one. Again, there we go. Because if you don't press that orange one again, normally the orange one falls down as you're going across it. Once you go over here, stop for a second, she's going to come out. And if you run onto some platforms, he'll eat you. And then come over here, he's going to spawn ahead. There we go, and then you need to come here. And then he'll do that again. So, um, yes, just get him spawned and then come back on yourself, back up here. And then once you've passed you, you can go back out onto the platforms. And that's basically it, really, for avoiding him in the water section. And um, so just heading back across here now. There'll be an attachment coming up soon, and there'll be 10,000 in its place. So push that sort of minecart thingy across there, and um, up here, and there'll be another one to push. There we go. Weak supply of maggots coming up. Oh, there's food, food for him. Is that food from a road supposed to be? I don't know. Um, so up here, yeah, just smash out your knife. One hit will kill it. And uh, up the ladder. Pull the lever to um, catch the big one. What are we on? One hour, eight, 18 Got minutes, guys. Big one. Here, remove that with your knife. And take a right here. Got smash a padlock. Can I reach you? Oh, I, could. I didn't think I was going to be able to reach it with my knife. I thought I was going to have to get my weapon out, my fire, firearm, my M1851 Wolfsbane. Right, out here, and uh, we're going to get a crank. But first, you need to interact with the ladder. 
because otherwise it does not let you interact with the um, slot afterwards to use your crank. But interact with this. There we go. You can't climb up like this. Yeah, grab the crank now and then use it. There we go. Oh, shit. <laughs> There we go. I just flipped my pen off the table because it's on top of my headphone wire. Right, so I'm um, back into the house now, guys. Um, where's the doorway? I'm getting lost. Is that a doorway behind? Oh, yeah, sorry, we've got to climb up here now. Completely forgot what I was doing there. Yeah, it's so got to climb up the ladder, and we're going to go down the zip line now and then activate the power by using the crank on the windmill cross from us. There we go. Uh, yeah, we'll use a crank on this um, big cog here. There we go, crank, crank time. And that should activate the power. Okay. Okay, power restored. Let's go. Right, let's go and defeat that huge mutant, mutant fish thingy. Right, so we've got this code. Um, remember it's blue, white, and then orange, blue. Yeah, so I mean you've got a solution there in that picture. You've just got to rotate it um, 90 degrees anti-clockwise and then it's sort of um, orientated the right way. Because you've got to use that little black square to and work out what way it's got supposed it. to be. Right, so we got it out here. Let's go kill him now. So there's a file down here. Um, is that the only file? Yeah, there's a file here and a attachment. The file is in a drawer. Highly missable. Highly missable this. So in the drawer is a file, guys. There we go. And 10,000 lay, thank you. So remember, you can, let's just check my knives out. You can shoot explosive barrels, by the way, and that doesn't void the trophy. So I'm just going to spawn him. There we go, just spawn him in, and then what I do normally, I run right around the back here, get him to destroy this middle part, because there's an explosive barrel hidden behind it. And then you can shoot that, and it'll expose his weak point, and you can just go smash into bits with a knife. Yeah, he's going to break through this in a minute, you can see him there. There we go. Shoot that barrel. That's it, that was stunning. Right. Just slice his weak point. Shred him up into little pieces. Slice him, dice it. There we go. And he's gone red already. I know he's going to climb at the top there. Right, obviously, take cover beforehand. Yeah, once he's on the top, he's got to take cover. Yeah, so just make sure it definitely didn't hit anything. Yeah, still zero. Right, so obviously after you spray down the acid, we're going to move out, get him to pop down. Block when he does come down first of all off the rooftop, and uh, make sure he blocks. He can damage you. Right, and um, right, come down, mate. Mines, by the way, mines and pipe bombs they do count as a hit. Yeah, my, I did try mines just to make sure. Right, in a minute, it will. I will get his attention. Here he comes. Yeah, block him. And um, yeah, you can you can keep lowering him over to the um, barrel if you want, and shoot another barrel. Oh look, why should he come over here? What an idiot! That's it. Yeah, if you shoot if he if he gets near a barrel, we can just shoot him. We can shoot that. We'll be dead in a minute. Right, let me just make sure it didn't count too much towards me. I'm always a bit worried. Yeah, still in zero. Right, it should be almost dead now. Gonna attack, I think. Come on, mate, just die while you're over there. Gonna attack now, there we go. Yeah, so just like all the other enemies, once he's attacked you once, um, he won't attack for like another 5 to 10 seconds. Right, that's easy enough. Crystal Moreau, thank you. Disgusting. The exit's up ahead. Yeah, so you can see how easy it is on casual. You just don't really need to heal too much. It's so, so simple. 
I mean, as long as you know that how their AI attacking works, that they attack you, then don't attack for like five, ten seconds. It makes it so much easier. So it's a file here, and you want to grab a key off the table. That's the last key we need. We can enter the stronghold now. There we go. Six winged unborn key. Now skip that. I've watched this so many times. Right, so now we're going to go to the optional area. There's a file there, actually, which we did uh, leave before, just because there's some lichens in the house that are going to ambush us. And um, if you do it now, there's no lichens to worry about. So there's a file in the hut over here. And um, yeah, because all the water's drained, we can access this place now. Some nice treasure down there. Yeah, so in here's a file, guys. Uh, where is it? Yeah, there we go, a file. Now come down here, there's a goat down here as well. Just reload. Normally two flashbangs in that crate. Yeah, it's a goat here normally on this trash pile. Come down here, there's a few fish in here. They're really well hidden by the way, these two fish. you got to sort of look for bubbles and that. And here you got a treasure. Yeah, there's two, yeah, two fish here guys. There's one, you see, they're really well hidden. Now I'm just letting you know. <laughs> I'm not wasting time killing them. Yeah, last time when I did this on the first playthrough, I, I did see the first one pretty quick, but the second one took me ages, so I just couldn't see where it was. They're hidden so well in that swamp. You can tell they're there because if you look, there's a fish icon on the map. So that's how you know they're there. Because otherwise, I'm not sure. I wonder if we would have found them if it weren't for that fish icon. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but just heading back now at the elevator. Remember, make sure you've done everything before we come up here. You've got the files, you've got the goats, and you've got the weapons. Um, outhouse as well, the outhouse. This is only if you haven't gotten before, because if you have gotten before, all we're worrying about is getting the treasure, really, um, because you want to try and get 2.1 mil before Village of Shadows. Yeah, we want to try and get 2.1 mil. Um, if you don't quite get 2.1 mil, by the way, guys, all together, by the end of this play, you know, with the money from your first place, well, it doesn't matter too much because Grenade Launcher can get you through the first part of Village of Shadows, by the way, and um, I'll give you some tips on that. I'll be using the stake for the most part, but I'll explain to you how to use Grenade Launcher. Basically, on difficult enemies, you have to keep alternating between Flashbang, Explosive, Flashbang, Explosive, because then you can get them into a sort of stun lock. But if you just keep spamming Explosive rounds, um, it doesn't stun them as well. You have to like keep rotating between them. Right, so um, we're just going to go into the secret area now. And we're going to get the Magnum. Well, in its place, it's 30,000 money. Yeah, it's going to be 30,000 in its place. You should crank there. But we're going to get... We're going to get the um, Labyrinth Ball. And there's a file. Oh, yeah, there's a file as well. Almost, yeah. A lot of these things, I don't quite remember. Then they just... I'm thinking of something else, and it just clicks. It comes to me that, oh, yeah, there's a file in that area. Yeah, so we'll get a Labyrinth Ball first, guys. And um, then we get a magnum, and then the um, file, and then we'll kill a wolf. Yeah, there's another wolf here, Crystal Beast. And I think this area counts for the mathematician. So, but the werewolf, I don't think he appears until after you've got the magnum. It's either after you get the magnum or after you've been in this sort of area up here near this house. So, I don't know, one of them, maybe you just have to enter the house to make him spawn. I don't know, but it's always there when I get a magnum, but it's not normally there when I pass through before. So kill this lichen, otherwise it's going to be attacking you. So a file here, guys. Got a file, and here's 30,000 lay. Thank you very much. Right, open the door. Right, it's going to kill that beast quickly. Where am I going? I was thinking I could drop off there. I can't. So it's just around here, at the middle part. There he is. Right. Damn. Yeah, block his attacks, obviously. Right, you should, be able, you should be able to kill him now before he attacks again. You know, once you've got his first attack or whatever, you've got damage like I did. There we go. You yeah, should be able to kill him before he attacks again. You yeah, remember, hold block and swipe because you'll attack quicker that way. Right, let's go to the stronghold. That's the only way to stronghold. We're going to get the juicy game. The juicy game. And do not forget the goat. I've not forgotten it. Yeah, that go that I missed. Yeah, I'll get a juicy game and um, we'll do the alpha, the alpha wolf on the way back after Stronghold, I think. 1 hour 28. I think we're going to come in about 2 hours 30 on this. Yeah, I think it's going to be about 2 hours 30. 
Oh yeah, we need to get the necklace with two holes as well. Um, where am I going? Yeah, we also need to get a necklace two holes from the well. Um, but we'll get that on the way out, I believe. Oh, and we need Louise's necklace as well for that treasure. Yeah, we'll get that when we kill the alpha male. Yeah, I need to make sure I don't forget them. Louise's necklace, we need necklace two holes. Yeah, I try, I'm going to try really hard not to forget them. Goat, we need to get a goat of three out of. I think there's only one goat in the stronghold. I think there is, so some chickens here. Outhouse, but that outhouse doesn't count because it's already open. It doesn't count. And over here, there's basically a treasure I want to get. There we go. I might sell some pigeon blood ruby. Yeah, when we when we pass the duke, duke again later, I'm just going to sell um, what I can. See how much money I've got so far. What have we got? One. We've got 1.5 mil so far. Um, you get loads. You get almost what you get in the rest of the game. You almost double that in the factory. Yeah, the factory gives gives you loads. Right. So uh, juicy game up here. Not a juicy game, there's normally a blue bird in the tree, there it is. There's some goats here. Oh my god, that goat just attacked me. What the fuck, what's going on? I just, here, minding my own business. They really want me to kill them, they're pushing their luck. Yeah, shoot that down, get a juicy game. That will not count towards knives out trophy, guys, but you can just double check. Yep, if you want to make sure. Right, let's go into a stronghold. Don't even don't need think about it, goat, I'm going to bloody knife you. We'll cut your head off, decapitate you. Right, we're going to go to Otto Smill. Here, uh, open this. Yeah, we're going to go into Otto Smill, but I'm not going to kill the giant because it'll take too long. Not going to kill the giant. We did kill him on our first playthrough, but we're not going to kill him here. It takes too long to kill, basically. Um, but there's a goat through here. There's a file inside. There's a file inside the house. Loads of meat, loads of goodies in there. We've got treasure at the end of it. So there's normally a goat here, guys. There's a goat there, normally in that little altar. Right, let's go up here, and there's a crystal. Just open this lock, go in the back. And there we go, just on this little machinery, crystal fragment. There's a pig here, so I think it's a pig if you need some meat. Through here. Right, just gonna leave him. Right, you need to get all these locks, three locks here. Quickly, yeah, leave him, guys. Don't, don't try and keep him, it takes too long. So on this desk, it's a file. There we go, file on there. Unless you unless you think you've got plenty of time, you can do it. And here we've got another treasure, Father Nicholas's Angel, basically the gold statue. Unlock this door. You got what you wanted for, go the file, the treasure, and for, if you do a mathematician, you'll need this area anyway for that. Right, get a bit of an ambush on the way back, just block past these perps. There we go, it didn't even attack me. They obviously saw my knife, they saw Chris's knife and uh, pooed them pants, pooed their pants. Right, so um, if you haven't got a trophy for knifing a arrow, this is the area where you want to do it, for knifing an arrow. Um, but if you follow my first place, you should have that. But yeah, you could get it now and um, just re restart if you want to get your time back afterwards. Yeah, but the place, the place where I did it before, I normally come up here onto this path and then um, I just did it here that guy over there I knifed his arrow just actually shot me uh, but coming up here now it's two levers we need to pick good uh, <laughs> yeah, two hits awesome this knife is pretty cool it's like a bowie knife from the uh, cod black ops uh, right up here I've um, got to pull these two levers now and then wait for the gate to lower and then remember there's explosive barrels here that you can shoot. Just gotta be careful your magnum doesn't penetrate the barrel and uh, shoot another enemy. I'm not sure that's even possible, but the magnum can penetrate, well it can penetrate enemies, we know that, so um, the chance it can penetrate an explosive barrel. So pull that lever and then pull this one. And um, just gotta wait now for the gate to open. I might just shoot this anyway, make sure there's no enemies behind. What am I? There we go. But just make sure it did not. Yeah, it's still good, still on zero. Yeah, right, let's leave this goodies. Right, just wait, wait for that uh, gate to open, guys, basically. That uh, should be open by now, almost. Yeah, we're good. 
Right, so in here we're going to get Vivianite, and um, yeah, I think that's all. Yeah, there is a file a bit further on, but yeah, it's exactly like I said, a bit further on. Yeah, right through here, and uh, yeah, Vivianite is up there. There we go, guys. And um, yeah, let's go. Yeah, no fire. There's a save point there if you want to save your game, just down there. And uh, through here now, we're still good. We're still on um, zero. Yeah, we're still good. This must be their den. Um, I think that's just a trick to actually respawn the enemies here. What, um, what you do, you kill all the enemies here, and um, then you go back to that save point we just passed. You save your game, and then you restart, and all the enemies respawn when you come in. Here. Yeah, I think it's, um, yeah, I mean, it's, you don't really need to do it, I mean, and you need, really need infinite ammo to make the most of it, because, because you're saving and restarting, your ammo will go down each time, but yeah, kill all the enemies here, basically, and then go back, save your game, restart, and all the enemies will respawn, and I'm getting quite low in health, um, Right, so through here there is a go to the bottom of the steps, remember. Remember you, you, you can heal four times, so if you want to heal, you can. Yeah, as long as you don't heal more than four times, guys. Yeah, so bottom here there would be a goat if you have not got it already. It's normally just here near the little buckets, a goat. And they come through here, it's going to be filed through here. And then the boss, Urius, he's back. And then what are we on? One hour thirty-four, guys. Yeah, it's going to be about two hours. I think about two hours thirty. I think that's what we're going to be at. This bit's weird. I don't know what they'll do. It's like they're all shagging them, making love to them corpses. I don't know. Just a way they're sort of groping them. Right, it's a file here on the floor. There we go. Examine that file. Go back, guys. And they come down here and say hello to Urias. You remember we did kill him at the start of the game, so he should really know. It's not really any changes. He does spawn enemies here sometimes. We'll just wait for him to drop down. There he is. That's not good. Yeah, wait for him to drop down and then just knife him. Knife his legs, his knees. Crouch. Crouch and then just keep knifing him, guys. Because you're fine when you stand up, but you can you can miss his body. But if you crouch in and just keep hacking his leg, it's, it, you seem to be more accurate than knife. That's it, just keep doing that and make sure you block his attacks. If you're in danger, by the way, he can sort of kill you in one hit if you're not blocking. So you've got to be really careful. Yeah, eventually he will go back up there. That's normally when you've dealt some damage. If you don't kill him quick enough. He'll summon an uh, enemy. Yeah, so just be careful. If you quick, he can kill that enemy before he drops back down. You've got to be really careful. There we go. I should have blocked that enemy first actually and then swiped him. So I was lucky he didn't actually catch me. I don't did he not catch me? So I was blocking. Well I'm gonna cut his penis off. Um Yeah, it, it won't stop bleeding from there. Right, it's gonna attack, I think. No it's not. Sometimes you just like a um, a taunt, I think. It looks like it's gonna attack, but it's not. Right, so keep knife from that knee. Yeah, you're gonna kneecap it. Cut his tendons. Right, yeah. If you knife him enough, he should sort of go collapse on his knee. Oh, he's dead. We got him. Yeah, so he, he doesn't take too long, guys. Definitely dead now. It's turned to stone. Right, get this crystal hammer. Do not forget a crystal hammer. Sells for like, I think that one sells for like 45,000 maybe. Right, there's loads of treasure in here which you want to get. I think there's six altogether. Uh, we've got one there. Two. Three, uh, missed, four, and um, five, six. I think that's it. I think that's six to shoot down. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, uh, seven. I think that's one already there. That's why. That's it. Yeah. So maybe I miscounted. I'm sure I shot down only six, but. Um, I think there might be one that's already there on the crystals. So come in here, grab a flask, final flask, guys. 
torso flask. What? Right, skip that. Come out here. And we're going to go and kill the um, uh, werewolf now. The alpha werewolf. Get that plate, that treasure. Come on the boat. Just make sure I'm on zero on knives out still. Imagine if I was on one. I'd be so upset. <laughs> oh, I'd, I'd cry in the corner for an hour. At least an hour. Yeah, so we're going to kill. We'll loot the well first. I mean, we'll grab the bit of loot that's in the cemetery first. Oh, yeah, we've got to get the file from the church. Do not forget that, mate. File in the church. Yeah, so I normally get that quite early on, on my first playthrough. I normally, yeah, I normally get a church file late, because um, it don't appear until you return after Castle Dimitrescu. But down here is a file on the table, right ahead of us there. Yeah, it's a file here. Right, some enemies will spawn now, we'll make our way back, so just be, make sure you block in. In that way. Yes, yeah, so make sure you block him from them, them guys up the ladder. And um, back in the cemetery. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's a goat here. Damn, I forgot about this goat, and I just happened to remember when we're coming here. That's lucky. So, round the back here, guys, there's a goat here normally. Yes, yeah, round the side there. Uh, top of this, crystal, and you've got some poultry running around, some chickens. So that large crystal there. Let me no wrong key, it's the insignia key. Right, let's do that well first before we go to the alpha. Let's make sure you don't forget. So this well here, guys, it's got the necklace with two holes. No, uh, keep using the wrong ones. You need the well wheel. That's why it's called a well wheel. So people like me <laughs> don't forget what one to use. There we go, that's a necklace with two holes. Do not sell that. Um, we need to combine two treasure with it yet, and then we get 50,000. And here is a file on the laptop. There we go. Right, need that goat. I might. I was going to say, should I just go and get that goat now so make sure I don't forget? Um, but down here, guys, there's some poultry. Just down there, some poultry, you see it. But let's go and kill the alpha wolf. So this wolf, he sells for 80,000 this drop. Right, so block him first. There you go, always going to back feet guys. And then just mash him to bits. It'll probably take you two or three times before you eventually kill him. But remember once he's attacked you once and you've blocked it, you've got about five to ten seconds before he attacks again. Just watch when he stands on his back legs. Oh I didn't I didn't see then. The thing is in these bloody weeds you can't see much. You can move him away if you want, go somewhere a bit clearer. That's not all sort of um all these bloody weeds in the way. Let's attack in, block, where's he gone? Yeah, we'll all die in a second. Come on, mate, just die, will you? There we go. Let's see. You get a trophy for killing him, actually. Uh, Crystal Ancient Beast. Yeah, his, his um, stuff, he... Um, Sells at 80,000, then you get a trophy for it. So there's a goat up there normally, guys. Just up there, normally a goat. Can't believe I forgot about that earlier. So here, it's Louise's necklace. There we go, Louise's necklace. And um, you can actually, if you go onto that in the key items and examine it. Yeah, so examine that, rotate it, you get a necklace stone. And then examine it again, necklace with key. And you get a key from it. There we go, and in here, guys, we have a pick. Quality meat. There you go, you can shoot him. Right, knives out. Yeah, still on zero, we're still good. Right, quality meat, let's take that bad boy. Right, and um, that's it. That's all we're doing here. We can crack on. Yeah, I don't think I've missed anything. I think I've got it all. Got the goat, we've got the um, Louis Key, we've got the treasure from that well, we've got a file from inside the church. Um, I think that's it now, guys. We're just going to go along on the boat to them optional areas. It's needed for mathematician, and there's some good treasure there. And um, yeah, yeah, I think we're good. Yeah, I don't think, I'm just trying to think if I've got anything. I don't think I have. Right, let's just sell some stuff to the Duke. It's Try not to sell my magnet. 
Uh, right, mate. Let's open your shop. Um, yeah, see how much this adds up to. Got tons of treasure to sell right now. Right, did not sell the necklace, guys, for two holes, or the pigeon blood ruby. Did not sell them just yet. Sell that. You sell the necklace, though, Miss Madeline. Yeah, point score. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Juicy game. Yes. Quality meat. Yes. And that's it. Don't need to sell anything else. Oh, 1.93. Easy. We're easy going to get plenty of money in the factory. Right. Let's save a game. And Pinesburg factory. Yeah, let's do it. What are we on, guys? 142. Uh, well, before we go, we just place all the flasks in here. Otherwise, we're going to have to come back down here. Yes, yeah, so we're ready to go to the factory now, but we're going to just do the two optional areas first, which you go in the boat. That? And there's the last outhouse as well. Yeah, last outhouse. I think I've got all the outhouses. I'm just trying to think if I missed any. Um, just, just ticking them all off in my head, basically. Uh, I think, yeah, I think we've got all the outhouses, guys. Just one more where we're going now. You see, it's quite easy to do 100% and um, and uh, get if you, and uh, do it in under three hours. So I think a lot of the speedrun guides, well, the speedrun guides that are going specifically for these, you know, the I obviously the speedrunners are doing it really fast. You know, professional <laughs> speedrunners. Um, I don't know if you'd be a professional gamer. To me, a gamer is just a gamer. There's no professional or anything about it. We're just gamers, guys, aren't we? Um, but here you use Luis's key to get that. Yeah, but the obviously the speedrunners are not worrying about trophies at all. They're just speedrunning it. So you can't really use them as a reference. But um, I right, so go down here as well. But um, the people are doing it for trophies. Um, yeah, so go here normally, guys. Go in here normally. Yeah, people are doing it for trophies. They're... Um, they're doing it in about just over two hours, I think. The guys are doing the speedrun, you know, uh, for a trophy. Because so I think they do a few things along the way. But I don't think there's many that have done 100% yet and uh, done the speedrun at the same time. So I don't think it's... Yeah, the way I'm doing this now, I don't think many people have done it like this at the moment. And also knife only. Yeah, I'm doing knife only, speedrun, no heels, 100%. I don't, yeah, I don't think many guys have done that so far. Um... So what time are we on? 1 hour 43. The factory... See, in the factory, I've been thinking whether to kill the soldats or not. They do die pretty quick with the knife, carrying bit knife, but I've been thinking... Do we kill them? Because it is going to add uh, extra time, so it's probably about 8 or 9 you, you can kill. Um, I, I definitely, yeah, I don't know. We're not going to kill the armoured ones, because it's just impossible to kill them with the knife. Because you need like a some sort of a explosive or a bullet type weapon to knock their armor off them. They're the ones that have drop treasure that sells at twenty five thousand each. Yeah, you can't kill them with an iPhone. They it's impossible. Unless I thought if you could um, lure them back to them um, them electrical them three fuses that you can hit because they do damage the enemies. I didn't know if they could knock their armor off, but um, yeah, file here, guys. There we go, file and last outhouse. That should pop the outhouse trophy. That should pop it. Uh, right, so down here. Oh shit, I've got to call it, call it up. I was just thinking, I was just thinking, oh no, what have I missed? All I missed was not to use a well wheel. So down here, basically, there's a pigeon ruby. And that's the last one we need to combine with the necklace of two hosts. And then it will sell for 50,000. Yeah, and I think a lot of other guys, when they do the knife throwing the speed run, they get literally like only like 300,000, they do not get a lot because all they're doing, they're just using the treasure from bosses, they're not collecting the treasure like I am here, or the extra stuff. But I don't know why, because you can still do knife only speedrun, and you can still get all the treasure. Um, and what a lot of them guys are saying, that you may have to do another speedrun before Village of Shadows, because you might not get enough on knife only. Well, if it just did 100% on the knife only, we wouldn't have that problem, because it, save, it saves more time than doing another speedrun to get a bit more money. And even then, if you just be running and not getting treasure, you're not getting much money. I've actually been meaning to work out exactly how much more, how much money you get from doing the minimum. Yeah, I need to actually work that out. I've got a list in my notes exactly what treasures you get and how much you sell for. 
Um, so down here, guys, we're just coming. Where am I? Oh, I haven't dropped down. Yeah, you just want this box, and you want large pigeon blood ruby, and then you can combine combine them all. That's it. And now we've got completed. That's a necklace. What the daughters were wearing. Yeah, Dim Dimitrescu's necklace. Yeah, that's the um, necklace that the daughters were wearing. If you uh, took notice of that area. <laughs> No, but I did notice a necklace. I, I made a mental note to look to see if they have the same necklaces. And they do. I think it's exactly the same necklace. It's a shame they don't drop that necklace. Instead, you get that stupid torso, which doesn't sell for much. Right, so we've done this bit. Um, 1 hour 46. We're going to go and do the other area now. Yeah, so we're um, up here. And then we'll go down to the southern part of the river and get the finest fish and get an attachment and the uh, file in the cave. In here, yeah, in here, all there is is the treasure, really. That's what I've come in here for. Yeah, but it's quite a lot in here. Um, you could be, you, we could be collecting, ma in fact, I probably should have been collecting Magnum Ammo, because the Magnum Ammo sells for 700 apiece. So shoot that, and then light that one over there, and then the enemies will spawn from over there. So grab this treasure while you're waiting. Right, yeah, just wait for that enemy to spawn now. Um, still on, am I still on zero? Yes, I am. Yeah, so you need him to be set a light so he can ignite that. So, but that should, it's still spinning around, so it should catch him. I'm hoping. No. Is that going to come back and hit him? Yes, there we go. <laughs> right. Um... Lower him down here, still on zero. Yeah, I'm always worried, guys. Um, if I shoot some and somehow it just hits the enemy, I'm just worried about that. Um, I've never had a problem like that, if I'm honest. Even when I did my new game, Knives, Knives Only, I've never really had a problem with it. Right. Thank you, mate. Right, let's grab that treasure. I'll grab the Magnum Ammo. It sells for 700, guys, like I say, the Magnum Ammo. So I'm going to grab it. It's a shame that enemy doesn't drop because that could be a farmable enemy. Because until he's lit that lamp, they keep spawning. They keep spawning, they do. But as soon as they've lit that lamp, they stop spawning. So it's a shame he can't spawn that enemy, a uh, farm enemy even. So down here. And um, yeah, it's just going to turn around and head all the way down to the bottom of the river now. Down to the southern end. And then we head into the factory. And you got factory, then you got Chris's section. And yeah, we've got a knife, Heisenberg. We got, we got a knife in, but he's not too bad. You want to try knifing him with a, ba a basic knife? Now that does take a long time. I think what's the worst boss with a basic knife? Maybe I don't know. Maybe it's Urius with Chris. He takes so long with a basic knife. He, he takes a long time with cap bit actually as well, but. Um, Using the, using the guard and holding guard and pressing R2, where it's right faster. He dies in about three minutes, so it's quite a bit quicker. Right, a fish down here. I'm just going to get that finest fish. Um, you want to come down here anyway, even if you don't want it, because I think this area may count for mathematician. All these areas I'm going to, if you want mathematician, you have to come to them, guys. And um, through here. Mathematician, by the way, you can track it on your. Um, you can track it in the challenge menu as well. It shows you how much percentage you've gotten so far. And right down here is a attachment, antique coin, and a file, which we will grab. So you got a uh, um, antique coin, lay, and a file there on the laptop. Ninety-nine point five percent. Right, so that's it guys, let's crack on with the factory. Um, where am I? Where am I going? Right, let's crack on with the factory. Yeah, what time? 1 hour 50. 1 hour 50. And um, I'm going to have to pause in a minute and uh, I'll probably cut, edit this bit out, but I just want to check um, everything's okay with the recording I don't really like recording for too long at once because I always seem to run into problems and I t seem to find it better if I pause it and then stop recording and then start again um, 
Right, so um, up here, get out on the boat. There you go. Yeah, so we're almost at the end, guys. Just going into the factory and um, just got Chris's section and Miranda. And we're all done. Yeah, I think I am going to kill the soldats just because it's going to be quite a bit more money than killing the soldats. Yeah, I think I think we will. I think we will. And um, Labyrinth. How am I going to do Labyrinth? No, I'm, I'm going to leave Labyrinth, guys. I'll, I'll be fine. Uh, 1.95. I've got, got plenty of cash. I, I've got enough to um, upgrade a stake and buy a grenade launcher. Easy. So, you're going to slot that giant's chalice. There we go. Ah, uh, guys, cutscene then. Um, okay, so we're heading down into the um, factory. I'm sure we get a free heal soon. I'm just can't quite. I can't quite remember the free heals. I, I remember everything else, but when it comes to free heals, I know you get two in Castle Dimitrescu. Um, yeah, you get one when you enter Castle Dimitrescu, and then you get one when you um, <laughs> put your hand back together. Uh, but I think you do get one around the factory somewhere. I know you don't, after Heinzenberg, um, you don't have full health after that. Um, but with Miranda at the end, if if you're sort of in danger and you don't block, you get instant killed. So, But as long as you're always blocking when she attacks, um, she can't kill you. Even, even, sorry about that, even if some of the orbs um, detonate, um, so even if some of the orbs hit you, it, as long as you're blocking, you should be okay. And it's just if you don't block and you're in the red, then you can get instant killed. Um, but yeah, into the factory now, file wise. Um, I didn't think you'd make it past daughter Moreau, but I suppose you I, think, I don't think there's many files in the factory, if I'm honest. Yeah, I don't think there is. So you've got that escape sequence first against the um, spinning robots chasing us. Not yet, mate. Let me do this first, then we'll sort it. Yeah, so you got that spinner enemy scene you got to escape from. You come through here, and then um, we try the curtain, the drapes. Yes, mate. And yeah, skip that cutscene. You just got to get away from the... Yeah, when you come through here, I did say this in my first playthrough. When you come here, Village of Shadows, you... Um, yeah, when you come through a Village of Shadows, you do... Have enemies here that you have to get past. Damn right, drop down here. What I might do, I might leave just all the general mobs on this because that will save a bit of time. I, yeah, I think I'm just going to leave all them. What was that thing? I'm easily going to get over 2.2 mil, so I've got enough to buy a grenade launcher and and upgrade the state fully. I, I can't believe I did that, guys. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to leave the general mobs. In case I might, I don't know, I just don't know whether to leave the um, soldats or not. I don't know what to do with them. I just, no, I really don't know what to do. I was going to leave these guys. Yeah, but I'm not going to kill these, I'm just going to leave them. They do die, if you want to get a bit more money, guys, kill them. If you're on the same time as me, 1 hour 54, we've got plenty of time left. Plenty of time. Right, so um, just try and find out where we are the notes. Of this ladder. Right, we're here. Yeah, you can shoot them. You can shoot them down, guys, for a trophy. And one of them soldats that hanging from the ceiling. Shoot them down. Right, let me just sell this treasure that I just made. I just want to see where I am with money wise. Welcome, Ethan. Yeah, if you want a bit more money, just kill the enemies, guys. Kill them all. Wow, almost on 2.1 mil. We've, we've got the treasure from the boss here, treasure from Heinzenberg, treasure from Chris's boss. Ah, it might get, it might get a little bit close. Okay, I'm, I'm going to kill the soldier. I'm going to leave the general enemies here, guys. I'm going to kill the guys, the weak spots. Yeah, I'm going to kill them. And, yeah, I need some pipe bombs here, actually, I think, to get some extra treasures. Yeah, shit. Right, so I'll let these guys through. Yeah, I'm not going to bother killing these. Have I got any pipe bombs? I should have picked them up before. What I might do, I, when we go back to Duke, Duke in a minute, I might buy a grenade launcher from him. 
Um, I, I can use some mines, as long as there's no enemies around, I can use some mines to um, detonate something. If there's no, as long as there's no enemies around to get damaged. So over here, there's actually 3,000 in this crate. That crate always has the same, I found. Right, let's let these pass by. Right, so we've got to go through here, and we've got to get the um, the relief of a horse. The horse relief. Oh yeah. Um, in here. If you haven't got a lockpick, don't worry. So I haven't actually mentioned about lockpicks. But there's a yellow quartz in here. There you go. Right, probably should have killed these guys. Yeah, yellow quartz in there, and you can get that treasure right around here and we're going to get the relief yeah that guy I'm just going to kill him yeah just keep blocking him and then keep slashing his weak point or die quick enough yeah make sure you block his attack as long as you're blocking guys even if you're in the red you shouldn't die right yeah try and hit his weak point there you can yeah watch out for his double combo there you go it's there you go. Crystal mechanical heart. It can take. They're following me through it. Well, it can take a um, a bit of practice to get used to swiping its weak point. You know, to actually hit in the spot. It, yeah, it can take a bit of practice to do that. Um, but it's actually he did die pretty quick. I mean, I only hit his weak point a few times actually um, to kill him. Well, I wonder if they're going to follow me down here. Yeah, so we're going to go back up there actually later to get the uh, Magnum attachment. So that's another 10,000. There you go, relief of a horse. Seems useful. Right, let's just use that there. To open that door. Right, up here next. There'll be one enemy here. There's some Magnum bullets in there, by the way. Obviously you don't need them. Right, drop down here, down here. I'm just going to run straight past these enemies. I'm not going to bother about killing them. No need. Yeah, just going to run straight past these perps. Well, uh, I think I'm going to get, yeah. I thought, you can shoot them. You can shoot them down, by the way. Shoot them there. Uh, little red spots and that. Just destroy it. But it stops enemies from following you. It does. I wonder what happens if you get killed by one of them actually, them grinders. I've not actually been killed by one before. Right. Whoa, that's lucky I blocked. <laughs> I thought I'd best block in there, so I, I wasn't sure I was going to make that bit. I thought I'm going to block, and I think it's lucky I did. Um, yeah, I think I might have killed me if I wasn't blocking, because I am sort of in the danger. Right, let's get through here. Alright guys, so um, a soldat's going to appear here. Well, not yet. He will in a minute though, so you can unlock that door. We're going to be going in there later. There's a wall there. Um, what's in there again? Oh, mechanical shaft. Yeah, we want to destroy that. So, um, hopefully you've got a grenade launch, guys. If not, you do want an explosive. I think there was a mine down here somewhere. There it is. Yeah, we have got a mine. So, I'll get that on the way back through, but we do want to blow up that wall. I could do a grenade launcher but I bloody sold it so I'm an idiot. Yeah, so I'll use a mine and then shoot it with my weapon. So in here guys you got a cog mold and a file. You got a file there and the cog mold. Yeah, pick it up. That's it, lock this door. Yeah, over over there a sold out's gonna appear. We're on one hour fifty nine by the way. Right, yeah. Make sure you block his attacks. As long as you block him when he attacks, he shouldn't kill you. So watch out for them. You see, they die pretty quick, don't they? they die pretty quick. So through here now. And um, oh yeah, I've got to make a cog mold. That's it. So cog mold. Just got to wait for that to be built now. Right and. Um, Right, let's go and get that back. Oh, it's too quick. <laughs> That's too quick. One hour fifty-nine. Large cog. Right, what? Um, let's make sure I'm still on zero. Yes. 
I'm so worried. I'm so worried about looking at that and it's saying one. Right, so you've got a mechanical shaft. You want that mechanical part sells for a lot. I actually forgot about that. So place a last uh, large cog on here. Where is it? There we go. And then you'll press it in a minute. Yeah, and um, in a minute, an uh, enemy will drop down from that production line. Just come along here, it'll drop down behind you. Here it comes. So make sure you're blocking. Just watch out for this double swipe that he does sometimes when he attacks you twice. There we go, like that. Just watch out for the double. You may just want to block a bit longer just in case you don't see it coming. Right, I've got him. Let's go get the next one. She locked us away in the village. If he's not here, don't worry. It just means you'll be a bit further ahead. Got him. Yeah, if he's not there, guys, and um, that one, he he would probably be down here patrolling. He normally just comes down and patrols this area. Yeah, the large armored ones. I don't know if you can lure him to one of these somewhere. But it probably won't go that far from one. Right, so I'm in here, and um, yeah, we want that large crystal. I couldn't quite remember what's in that crate, that's why I'm smashing it, guys. So up here, it's going to be another enemy that spawns. There he is. I'll just take the hits for a minute. Oh, it's going to hit. Oh, lucky there. Yeah, make sure you block when he's about to attack or you'll be dead. Especially if you're in danger. Right, let's um, smash this. Right, there is one thing I am going to leave though. Behind here, um, you have to wake him up to destroy this. You can lure another enemy down here and get them to destroy it. But I'm not going to bother wasting that time. So I'm just going to leave it, guys. Right, I'm going to get past these. And... Up here, this is yellow quartz on the wall there. I think it's yellow quartz, yeah. And then up here, it's going to be that stronger one. This guy drops a, um, a large crystal mechanical heart, I think. So we want to kill this guy. Spawn out. There he goes. And this weak point's actually on his back, by the way. It's on his back. I just keep knifing him until he's sort of staggering. Well. Well. Yikes, I wasn't blocking them, that's the key. Right, there it is on his back. There we go. Yeah, so it's weak point on his back. Large crystal mechanical heart he drops. If you don't like being in danger, guys, and you've still got a few heals left, just heal um, so you're in green. Yeah, if you don't like wandering about in danger, because it is... I guess it's a bit risky. And over there is a crystal. There we go. What a yellow quartz. Yeah, let's grab that. Come through here next. And um, yeah, sorry guys. Just try and see if there's a file that I missed. I'm worried about files in this place. Ah, we've got that other guy. This does that does damage him, by the way. It does damage him, yeah. And I think you can shoot them actually. Right, I'm gonna just knock it off, stun him, and come behind him. There we go. Whoa, that's look, he's about to attack me then, but. Ah. Look, <laughs> luckily I stunned him. I think he's about to attack me then. That's lucky. Right, smash these. Well, yeah, Spinner comes there. The amount of times I've run into him, because I forgot where that room led into. Right, through this door. There we go. There's a goat. There's a goat through here, actually. Oh, there's a goat just up here, guys. Just on there, there's a goat. There's a goat there, normally. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's goat. That should be goat 17. Should be goat 17. Got a lot. Well, we're on 2 hours 04. I wonder if I can get 2.30. I hope I can.
I'd love to get 230. We'll see. We'll see. That means I've done this run, knife only run, qu uh, quicker than what we did the 100% um, run on um, new game. I guess new game is a bit slower anyway, just because you haven't got any good gear and you're in the shop a lot, I think. But time just pours when you're in the shop, though, so. I don't know. Right, in here, we're just going to get the crystals, guys, and then move on. But I was killing more enemies, so there's a crystal fragment here. Right on the other side, there's a large crystal. And then just go through this vent. And um, I need an explosive now, actually. And there's pipe bombs in here. I want to get I want to get some treasure, guys, and there's some pipe bombs through here. Forgot about these. Yeah, this is why I shouldn't have sold a grenade launcher. Because if I didn't, I could just um, use a grenade launcher to smash it. So I'm sure there's pipe bombs through here. I'm sure I remember there being pipe bombs. Yes, there we go. Two pipe bombs. Right. Go on the way. Yeah, they drop quite a lot. 1.5 um, lay, guys. And the polycrystals, I think, so quite a bit. Yeah, but I'm just trying to save a bit of time. That's why I'm not killing these guys. I guess if you kill all them and you come across, I guess that can add up to about 40,000, 40, well maybe 50k. Um, right, so I've got my pipe bombs now. After I throw these, I'm just going to make sure I check. Um, still the knives out. Yep, still on zero, guys. Right, let's get his treasure. So you've got um, yellow quartz, Vivianite, large crystal, and another large crystal. Grab them. Right, we've got them two jetpack, guys. No. We got them two jetpack guys now. No, do not climb the ladder. And um, do not want to kill them. They take ages to kill anyway. Um, so, shoot that one. You can shoot four of them from down here. But one of them you have to shoot from when you're near the top. And should be able to get that one there. Yeah, there we go. We can get all them, but that other one, we have to do that from near the top, guys. So yeah, just watch out for these jetpack guys. They do do a lot of damage, but as long as you're blocking, they shouldn't be able to kill you. And obviously, be careful you don't actually shoot one. And then void your knives out trophy. All right, yeah, be careful. They do a lot. Of, they can hit you very, very hard. So one will drop down there, that ladder. Um, and they can attack you while you're on the ladder. So you probably just want to let them hit you first and block it, guys. Oh, and the other one. Great. Because if they hit you when you're on the ladder, they could... Well, I'm... Oh, I've... oh no, I forgot to... Idiot. I've got to shoot the other one, guys. Yeah, do not forget that. Well, I'm worried about the other one shooting me. Yeah, do not forget to hit this. Could have been worse. It could have been a file or a goat. Then I wouldn't know. Right, let's get past these punks. Yeah, make sure you do not forget. Why is he not climbing? Come on, Ethan. Yeah, don't forget that last um, weak spot. Yeah, it could have been worse because if that's a file or a goat, I wouldn't know that I missed it. Um, but luckily, it was just a weak spot. So, in a minute, is it this door? Well, where are we? Oh, it's a file here, guys. Yes, there we go. A file there. Make sure you grab that. Through there should say a ball for the labyrinth, which I'm not going to bother. I'm not going to bother doing the labyrinth. I've decided I'm not going to do it. Now be ready with your uh, pistol, guys, or grenade launcher, anything. You just need a firearm to shoot that weak spot. There we go. And we've got a Vivianite here and a goat. And this is go 18. This should be go 18. Yes, yeah, so I'm just going to show you where it is. Um, that Obviously, the goat's not there now. So, we've got a treasure there, guys. Shoot that down. There we go. And over here, there's just a goat on this sort of... Um, here. There'll be goats about there-ish. Are we still on zero? Yes, we are. Right, um, let's go. Right, we've, we'll have the key mould in... We'll have the key mould in a second. So then we can craft Heisenberg's key. Who wants to craft this key? I do. So I want to get this game done. I want to craft it. 
Uh, through the hatch up there. Yeah, we're going to get the other parts in the chemical shaft and get the magnum attachment. I can't remember if that's a file in the magnum attachment area. No, there isn't. There's no file in the magnum attachment area. Because I would have wrote it down if it was. Oh, we've got to go on a lift here. Have a quick look. Got to have a breather in a second. There we go. Got a moment. Right, let's see. Um, She'll start her ceremony. Got that goat key mold is the next key item. Yeah, the quartz. If that happens, it's all over. No, just the attachment, mechanical part, the whole file. But don't worry. Yeah, I'll I've got it, guys. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. Got it. We can do this. Right, so here you got a key mold. Wow. I can make a key. I can be the key maker now. Take Rose. Huh. I'd like to see you try. What are we on? Two hours, ten minutes. I don't know if we're going to hit two thirty. It's going to be very, very, very close. Very close to thirtieth. We'll definitely beat two forty-five. And we're going to beat two thirty though. I have no idea. I'm dropping down here. We've got to wait for the elevator to come up. Um, the elevator just get does get up a little bit before you get back to it. But um, I just want to get this yellow quartz over here. There we go. Is it yellow or is it Vivianite? Yeah, yellow quartz just off that wall. There you go. I can hear the door opening on the elevator. There it is. Yeah, so it's only... You're only about 10 seconds too late. Right. Um, I'll, sell, I'll sell my stuff to him in a minute. Let's go down and uh, craft this key. So we're going to lob a key mold in there. Then we're going to grab the magnum attachment, kill the soldat in there, and then we're going to go and grab the mechanical shaft. And then we'll head up to the storm boss. There's a file just before him, there's a file just after him, and a cigar and a goat. And then we'll see Chris, get a file next to Chris, and then we'll kill Heisenberg. And then we'll have a Chris section. Ah, right, so um, there will be a few enemies along the way that we're going to pass, like. Um, for example, yeah. Oh, at least, oh, they're still here. Yeah, the enemies, they don't seem to despawn in this bit. You know what? I'm going to run into a bit of trouble here when we get the armoured dude. So you got to wait for him to come past. Right, so we're going to kill him now. Yeah, he's going mad. Just make sure you block. Got him already. So, it should sure take like three, sort of three swipes to the weak point to kill him. There's going to be another one down here. Oh, these guys are still there. Probably should have killed this because we're just going to run, out, run into troubles now. Alright, where am I? Well, let him hit me. Go and hit me, that's it. Oh, they're coming through, look. Got him already, really? He didn't have much health, did he? Right, let's lob his key mode down. Um, there we go. Yeah, you probably just want to kill them enemies. Enemies don't really despawn in here like they do in, um, like they do on uh, some of the other areas in the village. The village they keep sort of despawning, don't they? And more other ones respawn later, but here they don't. So it's going to be sold out here, guys. Let him hit me. That's it. You should go and attack cooldown now. You're dead. Right, go and grab this 10,000. That's where the magnum attachment normally is, by the way. Yeah, I think I've shown you every weapon and attachment now. I think I, yeah. Right, go back out. The key mode should be done by now. The key mode should be done by now. The enemies there, have they despawned or are they just trapped in that room? I'm not I'm not quite sure. So, yeah, grab Heisenberg's key. We're going to put a key mode down to get that. And now we're going to go in here. There's a, normally an enemy around here. Oh, see that guy, that, that enemy there is despawned. Or did I kill him? I don't quite remember. But in this room, I just want to get the mechanical uh, cylinder. I think it's a cylinder. Quickly. There we go. There we go, got it. The shaft. That's it. That's what we wanted from there, guys. And they can combine that. Um, there we go. That sells for 50,000, so you definitely want to make that. Every time you play through this, 
you want to get that shaft it sells for tons right and uh, just go ahead back now up just watch out for the enemy so she comes through yeah so them guys don't despawn and these two up here I may have to kill these two because of the armor guys yeah so that's one yeah these guys down here if they've not despawned no yeah so I had to kill him because you have to wait for this guy you see I don't think you can squeeze past him I mean the probably is a way I don't, I don't know but um, he can kill you quick um, if you miss a block so I just lure him out and then get around so I guess you have to kill these two enemies here I'm just going to loot them Right, get behind it. Whoa! Yeah, make sure you block. So he can hit you instantly like that. Yeah, he can hit you instantly. So uh, make sure you're blocking when you run past him. I thought I'd be able to see this attack come in. Um, forgot they can attack it instantly. Right, so we're back at the Duke. Let's um, get up to B1. And uh, then we're going to sell some. Let's see how much we've got. Uh, we'll make a save, guys. And uh, then we're going to kill Storm. We're on 2 hours 15. Yeah, because we're on knife only, obviously the bosses, they're all going to take a bit longer. With Chris, we can't shoot any of the enemies during them sections. Can't use flashbangs, grenades, laser pointer, Shall anything like that. Something? Right, let's see what I can sell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Six yellow quartz, wow. Wow, we've got 2.2 million, guys. Plenty of money. Um, Right, let's uh Right, so made a save, let's go. Let's go and do this. I think we've got everything so far, you know, all the goats, all the all the files. I'm sure I did all the outhouses and windows, so I don't think I missed any. Um Yeah, so um through here guys, there's a file here. Now go grab that file, very important. And here is Storm. Stern, Storm. Yeah, so you just gotta let him run into walls and then get a sweet point. So, um. There we go, just keep knife for that weak point. Remember to hold block and swipe, you swipe quicker. There we go, quicker get away. He lure him into a wall again, of course. Yeah, just be careful he doesn't run into you. Make, if he looks like he's going to run into you guys, make sure you block. I hope he's not going to take too long. Yeah, eventually he'll... When he's on fire, he normally does his flamethrower first. No, it looks like he's not going to. Oh, there we go. He's doing it now. Yeah, right, lure him, lure him again. There you go, just watch it, because sometimes, if you're moving, sometimes you'll chase you sort of in a curve as well. He doesn't always go in a straight line. So just bear that in mind, guys. Is that it? I think we've got him. Yeah, see, that's that's so easy, guys. On um, When you're using the basic knife, it takes so long to kill. Complex mechanical heart. So through here, and got another file and a cigar. There we go, file there, guys, and Chris's cigar. Um, Ethan's going to worship that. So, in here, you got a goat. There's normally a goat just there on that barrel, guys. There's a goat just there. And last one, there's one more goat to get, and that's when we're playing as Chris Redfield. Right, so let's go and uh, say hello. See what he's been created for me. The Transformer Killer, the tank. Right, well, two hours eighteen. Yeah, I'm not going to hit two thirty. Urias takes three minutes. I know that Urias. He takes three minutes to kill knife only, and then um, yeah, Miranda. She's going to take a little bit of time as well. 
Right, so um, up here. We'll beat two hours 45, but yeah, I'm not going to get 2.30. Another time, maybe. Again? Right, so after the cutscene through this vent, and then move the debris leaning against the pillar on the left. That's it, move this debris, and then the cutscene, skip it. Um, interact with the laptop first, guys, for a file. Laptop, there we go, and then in the tank. There's no way Chris built that. It's already built, he should pretend to take credit for it, no doubt. I'm coming, Rose. Right, let's go. Yep, so um, you should have 41 files by now. Is it 41? You should be on 19 goats. Yeah, it should be on 41 files, guys. So um, we check your book column log in the challenge menu. You should have 41. Six more left to get. Should be, you got one more goat left to collect. Yeah. We got 1.1 million on the first playthrough, but looks like this one we're going to get even more. Going to get even more. I don't know why. Are we doing. I know we got 35,000 from your eyes at the start, but other than that, it's not really been much different. So, so you remember Heisenberg fights? By the way, shooting him with this tank doesn't void any trophies. You're allowed to do it. I mean, you can look at knives out and make sure you're allowed to do it. Obviously, when you're control Ethan. Um, can't use your bullets then, but it can when you're in the tank. So obviously you've got to keep in its weak points. And that stops its attacks by the way as well. And um, as soon as your rockets come online, use one. That's it. Because it knocks them back. On Village of Shadows, you can't just ban rockets, you have to use them strategically, but you can on casual. When he summons the barriers, keep shooting its weak point and after enough damage you should drop them. And then back shoot his weak points. Like I said, shoot your rocket when it comes available. Right, and uh, once you've dealt enough damage, he'll enter his next phase. There we go. This indicates the next phase when everything just blows up. And um, he sort of goes on fire a little bit. So you now you want to make sure you save your rocket. So you don't want to be reloading because otherwise you have to wait. But this phase, in a minute, you'll go up in the sky and you've got to shoot. You want your rocket ready, otherwise you're going to have to wait for it. I have just shot him with the machine gun when we're floating in the sky, but nothing's really happened, so you have to use the rocket on him. There we go, just use that rocket straight away. Now we've got to use the knife, of course. We have to use the knife now. Yeah, only when you're in the tank, you're allowed to use that. So, time to use the knife, currently. Right, so just keep knifing him in there. It's a bit annoying this because it's quite hard to hit his head. Yeah, obviously make sure you heal guys. Got hit then. Right, where's his head gone? He attacks a bit differently to a lot of the other enemies. He attacks quicker. And you can tell he doesn't quite cool down from attacks like a lot of the other enemies do. And his head is quite difficult to hit all the time. That's it. You know when it's going to block, so he'll sort of move his head up. Uh, sorry, attack, sorry. Yeah, so when he moves his head up, he's going to attack, block, and then look for his head again afterwards. There we go. Every time he lifts his head, guys, just be ready for an attack. As long as you're blocking, you should be okay. I know this is a very annoying fight on them. Um. But there we go. But it, it doesn't take too long. I mean, he, he died pretty quick, actually. I don't think Heisenberg's got a lot of health, if I'm honest. Um, it's it's the other bosses you have to worry about. Like, Urias takes ages to kill. Ages. Uriah, I mean, Urias is Chris. And um, Miranda, yeah, she's a bit annoying. Because it's when you knife from the land, it can be hard to see her attacks come in. And if you don't block and you're in danger, you die. So yeah, Miranda can be a bit tricky. 
Right, so this bit happens automatically, but if you want to just double check, make sure you're still on zero for knives out. There we go, yeah, still on zero, so good. I'm good. And we're on 2 hours 23. It looks like it's going to be all about Miranda. Miranda's going to be a decider on how long it exactly it takes me. Right, there we go, we got him. Right, so um, Crystal Heinzenberg, that sells for maybe 50,000 or something. Yeah, so Chris Redfield now, and um, you'll get a Mathematician Trophy in a second if you haven't popped it already. Yeah, so Chris actually got the last, he's got the last few areas of the village that you have to explore, Chris Redfield has. And um, I'm sure, I think we've, yeah, we have explored everywhere in the village. Confirm the death of Ethan Winters. I wasn't able to retrieve the body, but I've recorded evidence. Share your screen. Yep, yeah, right. Um, I'll actually... I don't think you can look at the map as Chris, actually. In a while since we fought together, I'll wait till we're um, Ethan again, and I'll just show you the village map, how it looks when you've, like, explored every area. But thanks to your so, recon, we, we can't use any weapons, guys, for Chris. You can use a laser pointer, but you can't... You're not allowed to damage enemies with it, so... When you get asked to use a laser pointer, only use it to damage the um, the vine, them sort of roots over there. Everyone only use it to damage them. Weapons. If you use it to damage anything else, it will void the trophy. Yeah, so now you would have got map and Matician if you haven't got it already. I should have popped them for you. Yeah, right, so I'm just blocking these. Right, are they going to let me pass? There we go, yeah, yeah. Right, we're good to go. Yeah, laser pointer guys, do not use any weapons, only the knife as Chris. Flashbangs, grenades, no, they do not work. They'll avoid the trophy. Right, we do get stuck, just knife the enemies in front. The thing is, as Chris, the enemies don't drop anything, fortunately. So um, there's not really much incentive to kill them. Yeah, I mean, on Village of Shadows, by the way, you have to kill almost every enemy because if you try and run past them, you That's just get slaughtered. They catch up with you and they like kill you in like one, one hit if you're already in sort of danger. So yeah, on Village of Shadows, we do have to kill them all. With Casual, it's easy just run past them all. So up here, okay, do I just get hit? Oh, it's a big alpha. Well, not alpha, but um, one of the big wolves. Oh yeah, wrong way. We have to go through the um, outhouse. Not the outhouse, but um, through here. Yeah, there's two lichens will burst in. There you go, but I can just sneak past some more up here. Just always make sure you're blocking guys when you pass them. Just so you don't take too much damage. Right, the um, armoured one, well, that one's going to drop down the armoured lichen. So, yeah, it's a bit annoying trying to get past them all. you just got to go with it. There we go, we will get past eventually. There you go, and once you get over here, they are all despawn. So we've got to get past that fence on the right. And they're all despawn, there we go, they've all despawned now. Now, yeah, this laser, if there's, when this detonates, if there's any enemies close by and it hits them, it will void the knives out trophy. So make sure you aim it at the top of the vine. Do not aim it near the lower part, aim it at the top, and then the blast radius shouldn't catch any enemies. And what you want to do, each time you use it, you want to just check you're on zero. Yeah, because if an enemy, if, an, if you use it too low, like sort of down here, and the enemy gets caught in blast radius, it will void the trophy. So you just got to be careful when you're using laser pointer. Only use it on the top of the vines. Right, you got to wait for it to reload. You can shoot the barrels, remember, if you want. You can shoot them. That doesn't void the trophy. There we go. Yeah, you can shoot the barrels, as you see here. Uh, knives out. Yeah, still in zero. You can shoot the barrels. That hasn't changed. Right, you can use it. Right, so remember, use it at the top, guys. You do not want to blast radius. Oh, there's some enemies there. Probably want to wait for them to drop down. 
I'm worried about hitting that guy with a bow and arrow, actually. Let's see. Oh, no, it didn't hit him. I was worried about that. I guess the blast radius didn't hit him. So what happens normally each time you use it, it does kill every enemy anyway. We just got to be careful knowing it's in the blast radius. I guess he wasn't quite in the blast radius. Yeah. Okay, so one more time, guys. We've got to do that. And there's another barrel around here we can use to just get rid of these. Yeah, just there's a barrel. It's right next to a burning building. I thought it would have blown up by now. Oh, did I shoot him by accident? I don't know. No, <laughs> I thought I accidentally shot him by accident. Wow, yeah, take that. I'm Chris Redfield. Oh, reloaded. What happened then? I was blocking. Right. Let's do it. Let's just make sure I'm not having it anyone. Yeah, because once you do this last one, guys, it will save. There we go. Did it, guys. Right, there we go. Yep. And, um, right, just make sure you're still on zero. And, yes, we are. Yeah. Very important. Keep checking that zero, guys. I'm going in. The rest of you stay back. Right, Urius. Here he is. Yeah, this boss take. He takes longer than Miranda, I think. Knife only. Yeah, it takes longer than Miranda. But just, you want to block and keep swiping. Remember, you block, you swipe quicker. And just keep going for his knee. And, um, yeah. Look out for his attacks. Try and block him. See them come in. There we go. Just keep going for his knee, guys. There we go. Just keep doing that. Yeah, because a lot of him is, is sort of protected. Yeah, if you're not using laser. You're not listening to Chris Redfield. There's an opening in the roof. Use it. Okay, okay, if you can, if you can stun him, knock him down. Oh, it's about to attack. Yeah, be ready for his attacks. He does quite large combos. Yeah, watch out for his armored parts. Yeah, back to his knee. Yeah, he will jump up there eventually. And he'll jump back down to you. Do not use target when face guys. Right. Get that round to that knee. I am crouched here, by the way. Right, he's going to attack. Right, once you stun him, you can get loads of hits in now. Yeah, once you knock him down, just keep hacking his knee now. There you go. Hopefully you can do quite a lot of damage now. Yeah, so much quicker when you hold when you hold block and swipe. Right, is that no? Still going. It's gonna attack. Oh, wrong side, wrong leg. Come on, mate, just die, will you? Okay, you got me then. I'll give up to you. Ah, come on, your eyes. Two hours 31. I killed him in three minutes one time, just doing this. Probably has been about three minutes, actually, man. So hopefully, it'll go down in a minute. Yeah, I know it's a long fight. It is a long fight. Just keep hacking this leg. Oh, I've knocked him down, I've stunned him. No, I haven't. Yeah, it's a massive combo. It's like a five hit combo or something. Yeah, so just be careful with that. The thing about holding block and swiping as well, sometimes you just block anyway. Because you're holding that button. Oh my god, your eyes go down while you're in Yeah, 
so annoying guys doing this knife on here. Right, I've staggered him again. Hopefully this is it. Come on. My fingers are killing. My hand's about to drop off. Oh my. I could have made this a bit easier though. I mean, if they want to do knife only. Oh, look at that. I've staggered him again. Ah, my hand's going to drop off. Why is it taking so long to kill him? I've killed him much quicker than this before. I uh, knocked him down. So I've got him in like a little stun lock now. I guess sometimes it depends how your knife is sitting in, I guess. I don't know. You know on Remake, on remake 2, um, the more FPS you got, the, the more slashes you do, more damage you do to him. Oh my god, my hand's going to drop off. Uh, finally. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Well, Two hours, 30, um, two hours 33, yeah. Right, and he'll drop the giant crystal mace. The rest of you stay above the right, he'll come through this cave afterwards. You just wait for that to move, but for some reason I could just run straight past it. I did on my uh, playthrough one. I managed to just run straight through it. But the last go is going to be up here, guys. Oh, he's still on zero on knives out. I hope so. Yes, so we've just got to kill Miranda now. Get the last go, get the last few files, and we're good. Yeah, we're good. We haven't spent, we've spent out, we? less than 9999, we've done no healing, speed run, got all the files, goats, outhouses, windows, all the weapons, I guess. Um, we've done two point, we're going to get about what, 1.2 million here, so last go guys, it's just, you see this big statue, it's just at the feet of it just there, that's the last goat. And the last few files are just up here, yeah, the last six files. Just up here. Yeah. And um, after this, we'll be back as Ethan. Yeah, so come up here, guys, and um, into Miranda's lair. A dungeon. This must be Miranda. So you've got his file here. In a minute, mate. And you've got a file here. And you've got a file here. They'll be done in 10 minutes. That's it. Make sure you open this up, guys, just so they do read properly and register. There we go. So there's four from them books. Then there's one on here, 46. And the last one, 47, should be here. That's right. it. That should be 47, guys. Right. Shoot the lock off. Yeah, I'm on zero. Right, skip this. Right, there we go, guys. Uh, back is Ethan in a second. Ah, Chris Redfield. Right, skip that, just limp forward for a second and uh, then you can skip this. Back in the village. Ethan can survive. Is there anything he can't survive? Yeah, eventually, cutscene, there we go. You can skip it then. And back at the Duke. And we'll sell all them bits we've got. Um, assuming you picked them all up. Uh, the treasures. And uh, I think we should be on about 2.4 million or something. Got quite a lot of cash. And you want to, what you want to do now is um, the thing is, I need, I needed my grenade launcher to start. Basically, whatever you finish this playthrough with now is what you're going to begin the next one with. And um, I did really want the grenade launcher to begin Village of Shadows, um, but I will be okay with the Magnum. Um, but I'll talk about that when we do Village of Shadows anyway. Um, so the Duke, let's just sell all them bits I had. Do you have sufficient open weapons shop. I do, mate. I only need my knife. Right, so let's sell this, see what we've got. Lockpick. So that Magnum ammo. Pipe bomb, don't need that. Right, I've got 2.4 guys, so um, plenty of cash. We've got plenty of cash, more than enough. Right, um, just make one more safe, and um, then we're good. Yeah, let's just make a safe. Right, now we're safe, guys. You want to buy one healing item. Um, yeah, you want to buy one. So that free one, that's just DLC. Don't worry about that. That's that crappy DLC pack you got free. Yeah, buy one healing item. As long as you're below 9999 still, it should be okay. If I go into here... 
yeah so you total 1000 that's still okay um yeah because this will be my last time. yeah miranda knife only if if she attacks you and you're not blocking and you're in danger it'd be like an instant kill and it's annoying it's very annoying having to do it all again so just starting the fight in green it just makes it a lot easier because then when you're guiding it doesn't do much damage but if you're right in red then each time you guide it's going to knock you into danger and you don't want that to happen um, but if you're green going into a fight it should last you throughout and if you've used all your healing items obviously you won't be able to and you can do it without you don't have to and I have right so I'm just going to heal guys before I go into this yes there we go and just run straight up to her and just start knifing her quickly now and you should be able to knock into the next phase before she gets a chance to attack yeah just keep knifing her there we go and after that first bit she'll enter the next phase and she'll, she'll get a bit taller now and um, you want to crouch and just attack her roots but you be careful when she's going to attack, make sure you're blocking. Yeah, you've got to keep attacking the roots. It's, it's very awkward this fight, guys. Very annoying. And, um, yeah, when she summons the orbs, you've got to be careful shooting them. I have shot them a few times and it's actually, it's actually counted as the hit. So I just don't shoot them, just be on the safe side. The orbs. Right, and uh, when she's in the sky, you can just you can just catch her if you if you go to the bottom of her, you can just get a bit of damage on her. Yeah, there we go, not much. But when she summons a big orb, just block, guys. Once she goes too high in the sky, if you reach her, just block. It won't kill you. Yeah, just block it. There we go. Right, and um, she's gonna block the. Uh, Keep damaging the roots. Right, um, eventually, yeah, you'll get into this dark phase. You can't knock her out of this, you just gotta now, go Rangers, through it until it finishes. You can keep strafing to get past her. Yes. Keep strafing, and then when she goes to attack you, you wanna block just in case she just catch you. And you can sometimes catch her with a few swipes just afterwards. So yeah, just keep strafing around and uh, lock when she gets close. And you can just catch her with a knife sometimes. There we go, yeah. Just catch her with a knife. And normally straight after that she'll do this move where she summons that big yellow ball in the middle. And just get behind the vines for cover when that happens. And if you quick straight after you can normally run to her and get a hit. But she'll normally sometimes attack you straight after like that. So you may want to block. Right, where's she gone? Yeah, it's really it's so awkward knife on me. Like summoning the three orbs now. If you quick, where she spawns them, if you knife, you can sometimes destroy the orb as she spawns. Look, I've destroyed one with a knife. But once you does that, you can actually get a few hits in on her underneath. But be ready, as soon as they go yellow, you're gonna block. I missed it, see so I blocked too late. Yeah, sometimes straight after that she'll attack like that, so just make sure you're blocking. When she gets the um, spider legs out, um, if you crouch next to her and attack her roots, you can get a few more hits in. I will see my host. Right, where's she gone now? Right, so it's the orbs here. Remember, normally, sometimes straight after the orb, she'll do an attack. But you can get a few hits in on her just underneath. No way, and she'll be ready to block as soon as I go yellow. I've missed her block again. Yeah, so straight after. Just be ready to block, guys. There you go. It's going into this dark phase again. Uh, so just like before, run around to avoid it. And then you can block and try and get an um, attack in as she goes by you. There we go, so it's gone into the next phase now, uh, well the final phase, and you really want to keep an eye on your knives out trophy right now, knives out challenge. Now, 
Um, like I was saying, um, as long as you keep shooting her, I mean, a lot of people said that this voids a trophy. The first phase, you're allowed to use a magnum while a weapon. The first phase, obviously, shoot the orb. Yeah, first phase, you can shoot that and it won't void the trophy. But a lot of people say after that, you, ha you can't shoot or you have to use knife. Um, but you can, I'll show you. Yes, yeah, so you can shoot her now. So this is the last part. Yeah, a lot of people say you can't use your weapon now. But you have to wait till she's about to attack and then shoot her. If you shoot her before she's about to attack, nothing seems to happen. You have to wait till she's about to attack you. And if I show you knives out, see it's still on zero. So wait till she's about to attack. And then one more time, I'll just show you it's still on zero. There we go. So wait till she gets close. There we go. And knives out. That's it guys, knives out, we've done it. So she get a knives out trophy. I've done the no healing and the speed run already. I'm not sure my final time. Um, we'll see in a second. But uh, yeah, she got all the files, knives out, 241. So um, yeah, we've got that one done. Knives out, frugal father, that's for doing it, completing the game, spending less than 10,000 lay. Yes, that's how much CP I got to get, guys. 92,000. And make a save. An another completed one. I don't want to save over my end game. Don't save over your end game save just in case you need to uh, redo that fight just so you got inventory ready for the Village of Shadows. Right. Um, yeah, so that's it, guys. We're about ready for Village of Shadows. So all, all I would do now is before Village of Shadows. Um, I would purchase infinite ammo for the stake. Well, no, you can't even purchase it yet because you have fully upgraded it. But we need to save 120,000 so you can purchase infinite ammo for the stake a little bit later. But you would normally go into Village Shadows with the grenade launcher and with infinite ammo, or if not, the Wolf Spain. But better go for grenade launchers. You don't need to upgrade it. And um, it's, it's only got to get through the ambush. And once you get to the Duke, we can get the stake. Yeah, but that's it, guys. We ended up with what about two point. Sorry, 2.4 mil, so you've got quite a lot. And um, yeah, so that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I know it's quite a long video. I did have quite a long intro just trying to explain it all and get you set up. Um, but that's it, nice only, guys. Next will be Village of Shadows. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.